that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the They're singing of our national anthems, and we're ready to get this thing underway again. From Tri Cities Coliseum, it will be the probably the seventh meeting, I believe, between the Victoria Cougars and the Tri City American. No, it can't be the fifth, sixth. sixth meeting. Sixth meeting, yep. Two, and, two, and one. Uh, our referee tonight is Tom Hansen, Brett Frizzell, and Jay Schurz are the referees as they two lines skate towards center ice. This first period faceoff sponsored by the Hockey Shop on Welgian Way in Richland. It'll be Rennie against Clayton Young to take the draw. Rennie and Young on the faceoff. Rennie draws it back to Duval. Murray Duval in his own zone. Brings it up to the red line. Fires it in right of the Victoria net, but Anderson stops it there. Shoots it back to neutral ice. Duval there to pop it back in the right wing. Comes up now to Bertamini. Bertamini fires it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Back forward is Kelly Cutowitz. Cutowitz shoots it back out. It's stopped there by Clayton Young. Hit put on Young by Spenrath. Puck down low, right side. Comes back up front now to Sumner. Sumner directs it into the slot. And the Americans poke it loose as Delcourt has uh, taken the place of Kennedy on that line for the Americans. It's Delcourt, Rennie, and Spenrath. Rennie goes down, but Spenrath there. Backhands one to Delcourt. Greg Delcourt up the left side. Finds Rennie, breaking across the blue line left. Rennie. Goes into the corner left now with Spenrath. Takes a hit from Anderson. Buck down low. Anderson and Spenrath dig for it. Now comes to Cutowitz. He shoots it in for Rennie. Goes over Rennie's stick. And Sumner has it for the Cougars. Back to neutral ice. And Duval will drive it back in again. Left of the Victoria net. Flaherty leaving it back behind for Sumner. Sumner starts out. Shoots a pass right. And Cutowitz there to cut it off. Cutowitz dumping it back into the Victoria zone. Flaherty drops it there for Anderson. Anderson behind the net, feeds it out left side to Avazov. Micah Avazov tries to get it ahead to Naylor. Naylor, nice move by Naylor at the blue line. Fans on the shot, though, as Jake's tied him up. Puck goes back behind the Tri-Cities net. They play it out right side. The Barnes line is on now. Barnes with Kennedy and LeBron. Jake's goes down low for the puck. Victoria with it behind the net. They try to slide it around the post, and Furland will cover it up. As Shostenka... And uh, Jakes have come on for defense now. Shostenka and Naylor tangle there just to the left of the Tri-Cities net. Kirk, a very important home game for the Tri-City Americans after coming off that very, uh, it was a, a disappointing loss to the Americans after having such a great game against Portland. They need to win these home games. They play Victoria a total of seven more times. Four of those are here at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. The Victoria Cougars only have eight remo remaining road games left on their schedule. Four of them right here. And the Americans have got to take advantage of that. Very important game tonight. Faceoff will come left circle. Tri City zone. It'll be McNutt now as the Americans make a line change. And the line is McNutt, Nibs, and Kwiatkowski. Shurstenka and Jake still the defense pair. Len Berry steps in to face off with McNutt. Jay Schurz will drop, or it won't be Schurz either. It will be. Uh, Brett Frizzell dropping the puck. Goes back to the blue line of drive. Furland blocks it. And we got sticks and gloves down already. Jakes and number 19, McKenzie. McKenzie. And they trade some long range shots. McKenzie gets in a couple, three good ones on Jakes' head. Now Jake gets that left hand going and he lays a couple of good ones in there. These two uh, scrambled last, uh, last game at Victoria, too. Now Schurz. And Frizzell step in between them and break it up. You know, uh, this one was a predicted one, actually, because uh, I had got the rumor earlier from Dave Shute that these two players were going to go at each other pretty good because I guess that little scrap they got into in Victoria, Steve Jakes didn't feel like he had gotten uh, the best of McKenzie. And uh, the rumor through the rumor mill had these two guys on the card early tonight anyway, and it sure proved it right there. Yep, and while they clean up the mess, we'll take timeout. 
on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hair stylist of the Tri-City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full-service hair and nail care salon, carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lightning. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10. Well, Tony, I'm not sure that they settled it even now. I think that you're going to see those guys playing uh, some hard, aggressive hockey with each other this evening. It only right. took a minute 40 to get into it. Well, it only took about two seconds after those two lines got on the, on the ice, too. That's right. It will be the Barnes line with Barnes and LeBron now. Krause and Dirksen are the defensemen for the Tri-City Americans. Devin Dirksen been playing very well at the blue line for Tri-Cities of late. Barnes on the face off against Barry. Barnes drawing it back to the corner. Krause with it behind the net now. Krause behind his own net. Outlet pass right to Barnes. Cross ice pass for LeBron. LeBron has to chop at it, chasing it into the Victoria zone. Drop back to Kennedy. Kennedy shot smothered up front right by Andrew Wolf. And the Cougars have it. Jeff Kerr back behind his own net. Fires it out left side. Gets by Ava Zoff and Barnes is there. Barnes goes cross ice left to Devin Dirksen. Dirksen fires it ahead and LeBron will chase it into the left corner. Back forward is Wolf. LeBron paces him to the boards. Barnes brings it out to Kennedy. Dirksen, his shot. Blocked up front and the Cougars have it. Wolf outlet pass to Ava Zoff. Two on one. Ava Zoff goes up the left side, shoots wide of the net. Comes all the way out into the Tri City zone as Barnes trying to outrace Anderson for it. He does. Barnes and Anderson with it. Puck right side of the Victoria net. That was kind of badly mishandled by the Cougars. Now it's shot back to neutral ice. Katowicz with it. Shoots it in right of the Victoria net. Cougars chop it off right to the top of the circle. Will Anderson brings it out. Barnes trying to poke. Check it away from him. Anderson to the right wing. Starts up the right boards. Loses it there to Barnes and LeBron. They chop it back into neutral ice. As Sumner has it. Now LeBron chops it away from Sumner. Dives after it. Flips it into the Victoria zone. Barnes racing in after it. He won't get to it, though. As Savage steps by and uh, Delcourt and Barnes tangle. They keep it in play now. The Cougars have it back into neutral ice. The Americans drop it back into the Victoria zone. Cougars try to chop it away. Delcourt takes Savage off the play. Now Sumner brings it up the right wing. Shoots left. And it's slapped away by Rennie. Left from Duval. But right there is Joel Savage. And offside are the Cougars. Boy, that was quite a flurry as neither team was able to penetrate the other team's offensive zone. But what the Tri-City Americans were doing down in the Vancouver, uh, Victoria zone was that they were down there forechecking and really pinching hard at the corners. That's important. The Americans have got to do that tonight in order to stop this very high, fast flying. It's what you've just seen right here, fast flying hockey by the Victoria Cougars. Rennie against Clayton Young. Rennie was Fenrath and Delcourt. Faceoff comes just outside the Victoria zone. And the puck will be dropped there. Puck is down. Rene draws it back for Kotowitz. They leave it along the left wing. Spenrath is tied up. Kotowitz comes in, dumps it into the Victoria zone. Delcourt racing it after it along the left wing. Now Rene with it down low. Rene taken out of the play by Keller. Rene and Keller tangle underneath. And Clayton Young takes it out. But it's smothered by Delcourt. Delcourt takes a big hit from Jason Knox. Puck to the blue line. Cougars trying to break it away. They can't. Spenrath shoots it back in, and we have we got the a penalty coming out of another fight. Is uh, Duval and Bertamini face off with each other? High sticking the call against Murray Duval. Well, it may go. Let's see. Is it going to get them both? Now Spenrath over to have a quick word with Jackson Penny. Duval called for the high stick. And that comes at the 3.52 mark of the period. Referee Tom Hansen called the penalty on Murray DeVal for taking his stick and basically just ramming it right into number 12, Mike Bertamini. And it was right at the uh, Victoria Blue Line. And Murray DeVal was uh, really trying to check his man down. And it just so happens that Bertamini fell underneath the stick. And they whistled him for the penalty. So that'll be the first power play of the night for the Victoria Cougars. Victoria was very successful on their power play on Wednesday night. Yeah, were they? And they what, scored three out of seven attempts. 
They were three for five in the first period. They generally, on a uh, power play situation against the Americans, are only 16.4%. Clayton Young against Stu Barnes. Well, they had it going good the other night. Small crowd in Victoria, but and they were not really much of a factor. The Cougars did most of it all by themselves. Ava's off with it, back behind his own net. Outlet pass goes left to Young. Young up the left wing, fires it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Furlan out to chop it out along the right wing boards. Kennedy racing it after it. Now Barnes, or Cutowitz rather, catches an elbow and it chops. Barnes races after it across ice as he goes in with Avazov. Now left to Clayton Young. He tries to shoot it in and Furlan kicks it out into the corner. Now Barnes with it. Barnes up the right wing. His shot blocked by Anderson. Anderson shoots a pass to the right side. Penny. Penny back up front. Avazov. Cougars on the power play. Left Anderson. Puck blocked in front by the Americans on Anderson's shot. Here comes Tri City. Two on three. Two on two now. Barnes to Krauss, and Krauss couldn't quite get his stick on the puck. Goes left to Clayton Young. You heard the fans react. Young, pass right side. Penny up the right side. Jackson Penny gets it to Avazov. They dump it down low, intended for Young. Broken up by Krauss and fired back to neutral ice. 59 seconds remaining as Krauss and Young collide big time. And Krauss makes sure that Young knows who did that. As the puck comes back out of the Victoria zone, Avazov with it. Up the left wing, Micah Avazov. Shoots it in right of the net. Furlan blocks it. Tries to shoot it loose. Can't do it. Nibs backhands it. And the Cougars still have it. Ava's off a drive. Blocked up front. Wide of the net. They try to center it. Can't do it. Back up front left to Ava's off. Shoots across ice. Deflected. Toward the net by Kerr. Kerr shot. Wouldn't go in. Around behind the net comes Joel Savage. Drop back pass. They bring it out. Savage in the slot. Shoots. And Furlan blocks it again. Oh, is he magic tonight. 18 seconds to go in the power play. High score, no score in the game early on. Here comes Avazov to the red line, and he fires it in left of the Tri-Cities net. Goes by Furlan out to the right side. Barry, five seconds left in the power play. Top of the slider shot. Right side by Naylor, and they score. And I believe that's going to count as a power play goal as well. It just had clicked at the one-second mark. We'll get the official on that. But the Victoria Cougars have taken a one-to-nothing lead. Naylor blew it in right of the net. And the rebound came right back off the board, straight up. And the Cougars were able to drill it in. Let's see if it counts as a power play goal. We'll get the official announcement momentarily from uh, Tom Lathan, the uh, public address announcer. Number 10, Joel Savage. From number 15, Darren Naylor. And number 16, Len Berry at 5.52. Well, that's exactly two minutes from when the penalty started. So does it count as a power play or not? Get the official here. One to nothing, Victoria. 14.08 to go in the first period. Americans win the draw. Goes right to Duval. He shoots it in. It hits the linesman and is chopped back out by Victoria. Duval in a scramble for it. Now Tri-Cities has it. Sven Rath losing it there. Here come the Cougars. Right side, Feesey. Feesey centers. And it's knocked back away. Spot number 17. Mike Seaton and the Americans bring it up the left wing as Fenrath tries to get it to McNutt. McNutt's dropped oh, like a bad habit and right side goes Sumner. Right of the net. The Americans bring it out. Now it comes up the right wing. Murray Duval. Duval. Headman pass to Kwiatkowski. Leaves it for McNutt. McNutt on the blue line. McNutt takes it into the right corner. Now Spenrath goes down low with it. Spenrath carries it all the way around behind the Victoria net. Puck's tied up in the corner. Now Kwiatkowski with it. Looking out from the wing. McNutt. His shot from out front about 20 feet goes right over the net to the right wing boards. McNutt races after it. McNutt and Spenrath dig for it, but the Cougars dig it out. Here comes Andrew Wolf. Wolf up the left wing. Wolf trying to get around Duval, and Duval finally takes him off the puck. Wolf centers and Cutterwitz there to knock it away. Now Cutterwitz fires it around the boards, and it goes into the crowd. 12.56 to go. In the first period, now Jakes and McKenzie step back onto the ice. McKenzie being escorted to the bench first. Now Jake stepping out. And the faceoff will come in the Tri-City zone. Kirk, I believe it is a power play goal. That is officially two minutes on the power play. Savage from Naylor and Berry to put the Cougars on the board. Face off, left circle, Tri-City zone. I think they're having a discussion about it still yeah, with they are. Uh, Barry Kilburn. 
And uh, it'll be Barry's call to make, and let's see what he does. It'll be Barnes against Clayton Young on the faceoff. Barnes does that little spin around move before the puck is ready to drop, and Barnes draws it back in the right corner. Kraus with it behind his own net now. Rob Kraus carries it out to the blue line. Kraus steps around a man, fires it in on goal, and Flaherty drops it there for Keller. Keller in the corner, comes back up to Kraus at the left point, down to LeBrun. LeBrun down low for Kennedy. TK to LeBrun. LeBrun tried to one time the shot and it wouldn't go. Back in a neutral ice, the Cougars slap it back. And Kraus is there to stop it for the Americans. Now Dirksen fires it in. Right of the Victoria goal. In after it hard is Keller. Keller shoots it around the left wing now to Penny. And LeBron steals him, picks him clean to Kennedy in the slot. Kennedy can't make it go. Now Dirksen stripping Bertamini of the puck. They take it to the boards. Taken off the board by Clayton Young. Fired into the Tri-City zone and Kraus is there. Kraus for the Americans brings it up, takes a blast and it goes over the Victoria net right side. Kennedy there. Kraus will cut it off. Nope, gets over the blue line. Kraus back for Jakes. This could be trouble. Jakes will have to wheel back for it in a hurry. Jakes taken off the play by Naylor, but the Americans control it. No, Avazov picks it off the left wing, finds a man streaking down left. Shot taken by Jason Knox and Furlan blocks it. Now the Americans bring it back their way, back into the Victoria zone. Andrew Wolf wheels around, whaps one off the boards. Left to Shirstenka, back to Jakes now. Jakes up the left side. Jakes, head man left, goes to Delcourt. He dumps it in right of the Victoria net. Back after it in a hurry is Andrew Wolf. Wolf up the left wing now. Shoots it back into neutral ice. Racing back for to Shurstenka. He'll take it behind the Tri-Cities net. Working, trying to get away from Andrew Savage. Steps around Avazov. Goes to the boards left, but Wolf there to steal it away. Shurstenka gets wood on it. Now Jakes, three on three. As it goes across the Victoria blue line. Cougars take it back. Knox, right side to Savage. He fires it in left to the Tri-Cities net. Shift change Victoria. And the Americans set up. Go left. Spin wrap. Ben Rath on the left wing, cross ice right. Here comes Steve Jakes. Jakes carries it to the blue line, shoots, just wide of the net. Left, Rennie with it, takes it off the dasher board, drops it low for Delcourt. Delcourt around behind the net. Jumping on him, Anderson, a shot taken by Kennedy, a point blank range. And now we got Delcourt and Will Anderson in a scramble down there. The, sh the uh, pass came out from Delcourt to Rennie at point blank. And Flaherty was there to make the save. Flaherty's playing some good hockey down there in goal tonight for the Victoria Cougars. First time we get a chance to see him here at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. He's uh, coming off an ankle injury. He had ripped some ligaments on the inside of his ankle. Happened the 4th of December. And they originally thought it was a stress fracture. And that's how they treated it and finally looked at it again and found out it was ripped ligament. So his rehabilitation was added on a little bit, a uh, little extra because of the fact that he misdiagnosed it. That was a game against Spokane in Victoria when Flaherty went down. Face off right circle, Victoria zone. Cougars have it. Anderson out the right side, now to Penny. Jackson Penny losing it. The Americans get it back underneath the net. Nibs tries to wrap it around and blast it, but Flaherty is there. Now Will Anderson starts up the right wing for the Cougars. Anderson, headman pass goes right to Penny. Jackson Penny losing the puck as he can't get around Kutowitz. And Duval is back for the Americans behind his own net. Here comes Murray Duval as the Americans bring it back quickly. Up the left side, Nibs directing it into the left corner. Racing back four to the Cougars. Fry trying to get in there ahead of Sumner. Pucks loose behind the Victoria net. Now the Americans carry it out. As Nibs tried to get it to McNutt, it was blocked inside by the Cougars. Now down low it goes to Fry. Fry losing it to Sumner. Back up front, Kutowitz. Kutowitz with it as he's tied up by Penny. And they'll tie it up right there and have the faceoff in the left circle. Fry and Rob Sumner digging hard for that puck. Not able to uh, get it off the board. Also, number 15, Steve McNutt for the Americans, went right into Wade Flaherty down there inside the net and just put Wade Flaherty on his backside down there. It was a good opportunity for the Americans to just bring it upstairs and put it into the top of the net, but weren't able to cash in. Victoria one, Tri-Cities nothing. Early going here at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Now Sean LeBrun down uh, having a word with the uh, referee. And uh, now the Americans are ready for the faceoff. LeBrun on the left wing, Barnes at center, Kennedy on the right wing. Krauss and Dirksen, the defense pair. Faceoff won by the Americans. LeBrun starts in toward the net. Takes it down low. Centers for Kennedy. Scores! No, it was blocked by Flaherty. Good night. How did he make that save? Now it comes around to Barnes. 
Barnes directs it around behind the net right. Keller. I thought sure that was going to light the lamp. Back into neutral ice. Kraus back for it for the Americans. Kraus looking him over. Comes up to LeBron. LeBron redirects it to Barnes. Barnes up the left wing. Stu Barnes. And Avazoff there to strip the puck away from him. Avazoff and Wolf comes out to the right wing. Dirksen has it. Well, Dirksen down low to Kennedy. Shot back to Dirksen, but Wolf there to break it up for the Cougars. Now Kennedy with it at the right wing. Tells the referee to get out of the way. Barnes trying to redirect it as Kennedy centers, and it won't go. Puck's tied up on the left wing. Taken out of there by Avazoff. Around behind the net. Micah Avazoff. Headman pass. Beautiful pass left for the Cougars. Drops it back to Savage, and Savage can't get to it. The object of the pass was Darren Naylor. Now Barnes gets it to Kennedy, but it's knocked away from him. Now LeBron steals it back. Puck left to the Victoria net. Sumner goes around behind the net, goes left to Wolf. Wolf bringing it up, goes right now to Sumner. Rob Sumner across the red line, rips the pass into the Tri City zone, all the way around the dasher board and back into neutral ice. Everybody wondered where that one went, and Flaherty comes out to play it for Victoria. He watches Delcourt as he races in on him, slaps it away, and the Cougars take it back to neutral ice. Now racing after it is Jeff Kerr, but Shurstenka gets to it first. Kerr whacking Shurstenka down along the boards, and now Delcourt and uh, McKenzie are going to have a couple of... That was an offsides call right there. Pleasant words. Offside is the call against the Cougars as they try to bring it in the left wing. 8.28 to go, first period. This has been much quicker. Yes, definitely much than, quicker. Uh, the other night. Tri-City Americans are 4-5-1 and one in their last 10 games. Victoria, very hot. 13-3-4 and three and four in their last 20 games. Very hot right now. Face-off just outside the Tri-City's blue line. Down to our right. Now Rennie being excused from the face-off circle. And in will come Delcourt. Spenrath on the left wing for the Americans. Delcourt wins the draw. Drops it back to Jakes. Left it goes. Shrestenka, he brings it up the left wing and dumps it into the Victoria zone. Rennie racing in. After it, they catch Flaherty out of the goal crease, but he's back in place. To the right side it goes. Rennie takes his man down, and it comes out to Jackson Penny. Penny wheels in behind the net. They get it right to Bertamini, and Bertamini gets a big hit right in the corner as uh, Delcourt is all over him. Now Will Anderson ties Delcourt up. Spinrath and uh, number 18, Clayton Young, trading uh, cross-checks and fifths down there. The uh, lines would end quickly to break it up. Number 27, Greg Spinrath, voted in the Times columnist paper up in Victoria. Number two as the toughest player in the Western Division. He was behind the enforcer from Seattle, Dean Ewan. And right there you can see where Greg Spinrath was trying to make up for a little a bit of a cheap shot from Clayton Young. And both gentlemen are going to go sit down and cool off for a couple minutes. Now uh, Delcourt and Rob Sumner are uh, exchanging pleasantries. Spinrath and uh, Young. And they'll both go off to uh, sit for a spell. And yeah, that one comes at the 11.59 mark. Sold out crowd here tonight at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Boy, they are packed in. They sure are. That's the thing about a sellout here is that uh, very rarely is, excuse me while I uh, get back together here. Very seldom do you see a sellout and see empty seats. A lot of arenas will be sold out because they have a lot of season ticket holders, but they don't show. Well, they certainly have showed tonight. And uh, a lot of yakking going on down there. Jakes goes over to have a word with John Oliver. And uh, I think there will be an extra penalty assessed. For you Cougars, number 18, Clayton Young, two minutes for holding. For the Tri-City Americans, number 27, Greg Spenrath, two minutes for roughing, plus two minutes for roughing at 11.59. Okay, Spenrath, a double minor. Young gets it for roughing, and LeBron will serve the rest, the other minor, for uh, for Spenrath. So the Americans give up another power play to the Victoria Cougars. Cougars second tonight. Coach John Oliver over there was just standing up on the backside of his bench with his arms completely spread apart, wondering what the heck's going on, and he was referring to over there to referee Tom Hansen. And it looks like uh, the Victoria Cougars get the power play opportunity regardless. Face off outside the blue line. 
I would have to say that that's probably not an outrageous call. No. As the Cougars bring it up, fired in right of the Tri-City net by Naylor. Redirected behind the net by Furlan, and we have a whistle. Boy, that's good. Oh, icing is the call against the uh, Victoria Cougars. That happened so quickly that uh, I thought Berlin had redirected it behind the net. As uh, on icing, the puck has to come from back of the red center line, cross the uh, other team's blue line and goal line, and then be touched by another player except the goalie for there to be an icing call. And in this case, there was. Berlin didn't touch it. So it goes in the book as an icing call against the Cougars. The penalty for icing, a faceoff right next to your goalie. And that's where Penny and Barnes will put it in play. This is the goalie's best friend on a power play. This is the very high scoring lines for both teams as well. Barnes with Kennedy and uh, Jakes and Cutowitz. For the uh, Cougars, Ava Zoff and Anderson at the blue line. They shoot it in behind the Tri-Cities net. Jakes there to sweep it around. And we have another whistle and we have another icing call. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Kudowitz, the fence with the Tri-City Americans. When it's game night, I need to get the call to see him on time. And I kind of like to go in style, right to the front door. That's why I take the new Ben Franklin Transit. For the hockey games of February 12th and 19th, Ben Franklin Transit has a sweetheart of a deal. Two can ride for the price of one. Don't get iced out over parking. Take the bus. On the faceoff, Barnes' shot just wide of the net, blocked by Flaherty. May have hit the pipe even, and it's taken down in the Tri-City zone. Cougars on the power play, and here comes Kennedy. Kennedy and Barnes. Right side, Barnes. Barnes to Kennedy, and TK can't quite get to it. Neat pass by Kennedy to Barnes, and a great return pass, but Kennedy just unable to get a stick on it. Cougars on the power play, but they certainly haven't had much power in this power play this time around. As a shot back out to neutralize for the Americans, Abazov goes right to Anderson. Anderson at the Cougar blue line, or Tri-Cities blue line, down to Jakes, and he'll sweep it on around the dasher board. Up front now, left point to Abazov. Abazov has it checked away from him by Barnes. Barnes racing after it with Abazov and Anderson. Barnes will be unable to get to it as uh, Abazov gets his stick out. No, Barnes does get it. Barnes in the corner. Now Anderson taking it away from Barnes, sweeps it back to center ice. Right side, Bertamini. He's hit hard by Rennie. Rennie chasing it back into the Victoria zone. Swept away from him by Anderson. 28 seconds in the power play. Cougars go left to Abazov. They're going to be wondering what's happened to the power play. Up the left wing, and Nibs is there. Nibs knocks it away from Anderson. The Americans on the attack in this Victoria power play. Nibs kicks it out left, comes to Abazov, and the Cougars roll back. Here comes Abazov up the right wing. Abazov with it. Knocked down by Kutowitz, and a shot back into the Victoria zone. Four seconds left in the power play. Times run out in the power play. LeBrun's back on the ice. Here comes LeBrun. Cougars lose it at center ice to Duval. Duval ahead to Nibs. Calvin Nibs will carry it across the blue line. Shoots it in right to Rennie. Rennie can't get to it, and the Cougars slap it back. Right side, Seaton. Seaton top of the slot. Feeds the pass left side now to Feesey. Feesey can't get to it. It goes back underneath the Tri-Cities net. Out into the right corner. Here come the Americans in a hurry. Nibs for LeBrun. Brunner can't get to it. It goes left, Naylor. He fires it back into the Tri-City zone. Back after it quickly is Calvin Nibs. Nibs fires it ahead to LeBrun. But Wolf is there, and he slaps it back into the Tri-City zone. Furlan leaves it there for Kraus. Now Kraus will start to break out. His pass left to LeBron. LeBron up the left wing for the Americans. Off the boards left and tenor for Delcourt. Delcourt goes in low around behind the Victoria net. Worked over by Wolf. Delcourt and Wolf as they try to get to it. Now the Cougars take it away. They drop it back along the boards. It'll come out to the blue line. To Bertamini. Bertamini across the red line. Up the left wing for the Cougars. Starts in, tries to center it. Nobody home, and, and uh, Savage is there. Into the left corner, Kraus now taken off of Kraus's stick. Here comes Trice. And it's going to go against, it'll go against Rob Kraus for roughing. As the Americans looked like they had a clean breakaway that time, maybe three on one, and uh, Kraus will go to the penalty box for roughing. 
Coach Wayne Nacco over there standing on the back of his bench yelling at the Tri-City American bench, probably directing all his comments to Coach John Oliver and saying, hey, look, we're not playing football out there. Football. Mm-hmm. 4.47 to go in the first period. 1-0 Victoria. This is a very physical game. A lot of emotion in this game. You can just feel it all the way up here. Well, I think the Americans felt that maybe they got that one taken away from them the other night by the guy with the red sleeve. And uh, very much want to put the fear back into the Cougars. Barnes against Clayton Young on the faceoff. Barnes from Spruce Grove, Alberta. Clayton Young from Fairview. <laughs> faceoff in neutralize. Barnes taking his time to get the chin strap on. Now he's ready to go. Face off, pucks down. Young wins it. Back to Anderson. He goes right to Avazov. Micah Avazov shoots a pass left side to uh, Len Barry. Barry with it. And we have a whistle at the blue line. Offside, Cougars. Stu Barnes is doing a great uh, job tonight. Face off. So far, what I've got, he's won three out of the four face offs he's been in tonight. That's real good. When Stu Barnes is winning face offs, the Americans generally play very well. 439 to go in the first period. 1 0 Victoria. I'm Kirk Williamson along with Tony Ott. Next hockey action coming up on Sunday night, 545 broadcast time against the Seattle Thunderbirds. Face off. Won by the Americans. Barnes with it. Gets it to Cutowitz. Cutowitz shoots it ahead to Kennedy. Up the left wing. Troy Kennedy taken off the puck, but he gets it right back. Kennedy looking for Barnes. Tries to slide it down the slot. Won't go. Shot back into neutral ice by the Cougars, but TK's back for it. Now he's taken out of the play, and Clayton Young has it. Young stopped at the blue line by Cutowitz, and he got hammered. Back up the left wing. It goes to Young. Drop it back now for the Cougars. Right side, Ava's off. His shot scored. It hit the pipe and went in. Avazov. He just drilled that one. The Cougars' second power play goal coming at the 1551 mark. That particular one, uh, Troy Kennedy tried to jump down right there in front to block the shot by Avazov. But all the people that were standing in front of Frank Frillin, there was just too many screens there. Frank didn't see it coming up high and on his stick side. Caught the inside post, bounced right across the red line, lit the red lamp, and the Victoria Cougars now lead two to nothing. Young getting the assist. Was there a second assist on that? I yeah. believe it was. Avazov getting the goal, and we have a whistle. Naylor got an assist, it looks like. And it'll be icing against the Cougars. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the rough giant burger. Ross, now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Face off, shot back into the Tri City zone, and we have a um, quick whistle, a two line pass against the Cougars, so we'll bring it back and face off at about the uh, blue, at, at just inside the Victoria blue line. It'll come at the top of the right circle. In the Victoria zone. You know, if nothing else, it's worth coming out here to listen to this V8 system, Tony. It's excellent. And uh, it will be Steve Rennie against Jackson Penny and a bunch of whistles on the faceoff now. Greg Delcourt over there right behind the faceoff. The linesman heading over there. I believe that's... Um, Deli and uh, Jeff, Jeff Kerr. Jeff Kerr, yeah. I get a big kick out of Delcourt. He uh, about as comfortable as an old, sh old shoe, but you sure don't want to mess with him. Rennie, backhand pass, tried to get it to Delcourt, and it was tied up right of the net, or on the right side of the net, by Wade Flaherty. Greg Delcourt's down there uh, doing a little John with just about everybody in there. I think what's going on is the emotion is so high right now that the players are actually going in and starting some stuff, knowing 
But they've got 6,000-plus fans standing behind them. Yep. And that anything they do will inspire this team to tear it up a little bit. And that's exactly what Victoria wants to try to hold. Barnes, LeBrun, and Kennedy now. And LeBrun steps into the faceoff circle against Clayton Young. LeBrun's job is to get in here and tie Young up so that they'll throw him out, and in will come Stu Barnes. Now, the linesman's getting a lot of heat from the crowd to drop the puck, which he does quickly. Barnes, in this case, losing the draw, though, and here come the Cougars. Naylor shoots it in. Furlan puts it into the left corner. Back for it quickly, Bertamini. He's tied up in the corner. Oops, Furlan caught behind the net. Puck shot out to the right side. Barnes out to Kennedy. Kennedy losing it at the right side. Now Barnes with it. Barnes cross ice. All the way back into the Victoria zone. Back for it is Andrew Wolf. Wolf with it. Brings it across the red line. Shoots it up into the Tri City goal. In front of the goal. And Furlan there to block it. Shurstenka behind the net. Dan Shurstenka to start the breakout for Tri Cities. 2 0 Victoria. Shurstenka outlet pass left now to LeBron. Cross ice right. Antenna for TK. Goes all the way into the Victoria zone. It'll be icing when Andrew Wolf touches it. And we'll be back on this Tri Cities Radio. Americans hockey broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hairstylist of the Tri City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full service hair and nail care salon, carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lighting. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10. Face off, left circle, Tri City zone, Rennie against Avazov. And on the face off, another whistle. They'll try it again. The linesman apparently that time just didn't like the way it went down. And uh, besides that, they're going to toss Avazov and Rennie and uh, let two other guys try it. So it'll be Len Barry from Kelowna against Steve McNutt. McNutt from Calgary. McNutt wins the draw. It goes back to Cutterwitz behind the net. Outlet pass left to Rennie. And here we go again. McNutt and Barry. Now that's an interesting pair. Steve McNutt celebrates a birthday this weekend. And he's going to get a, might just wind up with a fat lip for his trouble. As uh, Barry has those big arms wrapped around McNutt. Now he gets in a couple of shots in the back of McNutt's head. They're uh, both uh, going to wind up in a wrestling hold, and down they go. McNutt winds up on top, but I'm not sure who we're going to give this one to. That uh, didn't look like either player got much. Uh, yeah, it looks like it was pretty much an even uh, scrap there. Uh, Steve McNutt coming back. This is his third game back from uh, that uh, bacterial problem that he had. It was like a um, almost allergy. like pneumonia. Almost like pneumonia type, and he had to go back up to Calgary to see a specialist. And it's good to see him back here and uh, looking pretty healthy there too. Well, we'll be back in 30 seconds on this Tri Cities Radio Americas Hockey Broadcast. Roberto Duran brought Hagler to a standstill. Now he's back to challenge a new middleweight champion. I ran the blade Barkley. Barkley sees the WBC title with a spectacular knockout of Thomas Hearns. Barkley's dream is to avenge the defeat of his friend Davey Moore by Duran. The undercard of the WBC middleweight championship will feature the professional debut of four Olympic medalists. Top Rank presents this special pay-per-view event live February 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern. To order, contact your cable system. Two fifty-two remaining in the period. Faceoff will be in the left circle. Rennie against Jackson Penny. Rennie and Penny. Rennie with Nibs and Duval, or Nibs and Fry rather. Duval and Cutterwitz the defense pair. Now Nibs comes in to face Jackson Penny. Puck is down. Nibs draws it to the right wing. Shot by Anderson. Blocked by Furlan, and he covers up. Quick shot by Will Anderson. And Furlan was there to make the save. That was great defense by the Americans right there. On that faceoff, you saw how they're defensively set. Each player has a man. They tie him up. That allows an open lane between the slap shot and the goalie, and that allows him to see it. 
Face off again. Anderson shot in. Furlan puts it into the crowd. Furlan doing his magic down there. Yeah, he is. He's doing a great job. That's similar to uh, clearing the lanes, basically, so you get yep. a chance to see. That time, Anderson's slap shot came from right at the top of the slot on the blue line. It'll be Rennie against Jackson Penny once again. Face off left circle, Tri-City zone. Buck is down. Slap back to Anderson. At the blue line, another drive. Blocked out front. Nibs takes it to the right wing, or left wing, rather. Ahead to Fry. Fry directing it back to Rennie. It goes cross ice now. Anderson with it for the Cougars. Anderson losing it, dumping it back into the Tri-City zone, and Kutowitz is there. Kutowitz around to Duval. Duval shoots it into neutral ice for the Americans. Blocked by Flaherty, and he leaves it there for Rob Sumner. Sumner, outlet pass, right side. Land Barry. Barry drops it right to Penny. Blocked away from Penny, and Savage there to slap it into the Tri-City zone. Duval with it. Here comes Duval up the right wing. Now goes to the center. Murray Duval wheeling back in his own zone now. Duval starts to bring it up. Carries it across the blue line right side to the right wing. Duval with it. Passes it down low behind the net to Nibs. Calvin Nibs. Nibs leaving it there for Troy Kennedy. Kennedy backhands into slot. Nobody there. Feezy for Victoria. Back to neutral ice and Rennie strips it away from him. Puck shot right back into the net. And Rennie takes a vicious hit from Jeff Kerr. And Kennedy with the puck. Kennedy with it at the blue line. Losing it there to the Cougars. Kerr. But Krause steps back onto the ice and takes it away. Krause with it. Plays it up the left wing to Barnes. Americans. Barnes with it at the blue line. Barnes backhands it toward the net. Flaherty leaves it there for Wolf. Wolf left to the net. Shot back to neutral ice. Krause stops. Fires it back into the right side. Racing after it is Barnes. Flaherty will leave it there for Clayton Young. Young around behind the net. Evades a big hit coming. Goes to Wolf. Wolf cross ice left. And Dirksen will take it. Back into his own zone. Dirksen ahead off the boards. One minute to play. Puck shot into the Tri-City zone. Furlan leaving it behind the net for Kraus. Rob Kraus with it. Kraus behind his own net now. Starts up the left side. Finds LeBron. Good pass to LeBron up the right side. LeBron now across the blue line. Has it slapped away by the Cougars. Shot back into neutral ice. But Kraus is there for the Americans. Plays it back into the Cougar zone. Sumner with it. Cross ice left. Anderson. Anderson ahead to Avazov. Avazov across the blue line and Kraus takes him off the play, but there's Naylor. Naylor right side back up front. Sumner a drive! And Berlin makes the save. Comes out to Dirksen. Dirksen hooked from behind by Savage, but Dirksen stays on his feet. Another shot blocked out front. Comes from the right wing. Cougars another shot. Avazov wide to the net right. Comes out along the boards right side to LeBron. LeBron putting a good punch on Avazov that time. As Delcourt kicks the puck loose, races in on Flaherty. Flaherty chops it away, but Barnes and Delcourt both hooked down by the Cougars. One second at the buzzer, Ava's off, and it's smothered out front. As Kraus puts Anderson into the boards pretty hard, and that wraps it up. What a flurry to end that period. Very fast and very furious. Exactly, Kurt. Good hockey out there right now. And the score at the end of the first period, the Victoria Cougars 2, Tri-City Americans nothing. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Back once again at the Tri-Cities Coliseum, getting ready for the beginning of the second period. Tony Ott here, joined by Kirk Williamson. Kirk, the second period is about to begin, and after that first period, that was a fast and furious one. Hopefully we can get this thing taken care of, settle down, play some real good passing hockey. And knowing that the Americans have a lot of inspiration built up behind them, I'm sure Coach John Oliver said, use that emotion to your best advantage. Well, Tony, I think in the first period, as much as anything, I think uh, the Americans were probably a little bit on the uh, over tight side, as much as anything. I think they came out feeling a lot of pressure to do well in this game, and I think that's probably what we're seeing as much as anything. Face-off will be Barnes against Davis off. This second period face-off sponsored by Vacuum City with two locations to serve you in Pasco and in Richland. Stu Barnes left, uh, LeBron left, Kennedy right for the Americans as Barnes wins the draw. Right side now to Kennedy. Shot away by Anderson. He goes left to Naylor. Darren Naylor into the Tri-City zone left. They center, but Barnes is there to steal it away. Barnes cross ice pass left for LeBron. Two Cougars up and LeBron. And now LeBron will chase the puck away. Nope, it's chopped away from him by Naylor. 
Naylor back into the Tri-City zone. Cutterwitz takes Naylor down. Right side, Savage. Big hit on Savage by LeBrun. As Duval brings it out of the Tri-City zone. Headman pass left. Goes by LeBrun and Barnes back into the Victoria zone. Cougars chop it back up the right wing now. Savage shoots a pass ahead and Duval puts a glove on it. So it won't be icing. Furland backhands one along the right wing boards for the Americans. Kennedy's pass goes back into the Victoria zone and the Cougars back for it. Andrew Wolf behind his own net. Outlet pass left to Mike Seaton. Seaton chops it into the Tri-City zone. They race after it. Kraus down low behind the net out the right wing. Kraus tied up by Bertamini. Pucks loose. Kraus chopping at it. Now Delcourt chops at it. Bertamini takes it away from him. Back up front. Cougars with it. Left. Mike Bertamini in the corner. Duval takes him off the play. Delcourt Headman pass to Barnes. Here come the Americans. Three on three. Barnes pass left intended for Spenrath. Slapped away by the Cougars, but chopped back in by the Americans. Now Andrew Wolf behind his own net. Wolf starts out left side, spanks a pass left to Seaton. His pass gets right by the intended man, Young. And back forward is Dirksen. Dirksen wheels around behind his net. Slaps a pass off the boards left. Delcourt redirects it into the Victoria zone. Cougars break it up. Back to neutralize it comes. Now Dirksen along the boards right to Delcourt. He slaps it into the Victoria zone. Sumner races after it. Sumner drops it down low. Spenrath and Rennie. Rennie takes it off of Spenrath's stick out to Delcourt. Now to Rennie in the right corner. Rennie around to Delcourt. He tries to wrap it around. Delhi turns around. Center. Loose puck in the slot. Spenrath can't do anything with it. It gets by Rennie and Dirksen will fire it back into the Victoria zone from outside the blue line. Now the Cougars start to bring it up. Here comes Victoria. Sumner across the blue line. The Americans have not gotten a quality shot. Goes to Furlan behind the net. Racing back in there for his Kraus. His outlet pass goes left to Calvin Nibs. Nibs carries it across to Tri-City's blue line. And here we go again. Jeff Kerr and Devin Dirksen going to be going at it. Oh, and some good punches early. Dirksen gets oh, 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 Dirksen is taking Jeff Kerr to the mill. Now he's got Kerr's shirt up over his head. And that's when they're going to break it up. I, there's no doubt about that one. That was going to Devin Dirksen. Yep. Fell out about 7-2 uh, on point. Dirksen. And we'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Kudowitz, the fence with the Tri-City Americans. When it's game night, I need to get the Coliseum on time. And I kind of like to go in style, right to the front door. That's why I take the new Ben Franklin Transit. For the hockey games of February 12th and 19th, Ben Franklin Transit has a sweetheart of a deal. Two can ride for the price of one. Don't get iced out over parking. Take the bus. <laughs> Five minutes each for fighting Dirksen and Kerr. Well, the boys are a little fractious tonight, Tony. Yeah, they are. They sure are playing with a lot of intensity out there. It shows, and besides that, uh, I think that the Americans maybe were a little embarrassed Wednesday night, and they want to make up for it knowing that the Tri-City American fans keep good track of their road record as well. And they haven't had that terrific of one as of late. Well, I think so, too. And I think early on, the Americans really had Victoria's number. The Cougars have kind of evened that up. And I think the Americans would like to reestablish that emotional domination over Victoria. 2-0 Cougars, early second period. Kwiatkowski against Abazov. Won by Abazov, but chopped out of play by Nibs up into section... And that hit Jim Craig oh, right sure in the got nose. Jim Craig right in the chops. And he's motioning for. Uh... Yeah, that caught Jim Craig right in the nose. And he's just now signaled for Devin Dirksen to come over to the locker room. And Devin's going to go to the locker room back there and help Jim with his nose, I believe. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Devin's got doing a little. Uh, may have. Uh, damaged the knuckle there on uh, on the uh, face of uh, Jeff Kerr. Yeah, that's very possible too, Kerr. And they're asking for a uh, 
doctor to uh, go to the Americans dressing room. Two nothing Victoria. Cougars win the draw. At center ice goes right to Sumner. Sumner fires it in left of the Tri-Cities net. Ferland leaving it for Jakes. Jakes wheels. Finds Fry. Stolen away from him. Loose in the slot. Now the Americans get it right back. Nibs up the right wing. Nibs works to get around Anderson. He's hooked down from behind. And, got a penalty. and they're going to call it. Who quit? Kowski taking a terrific hit by Sumner. As Sumner just line quit Kowski up and pasted him to the boards. Well, I'll tell you what, this game is going to get very exciting as it continues through. 16 minutes and 57 seconds remaining in this second period. Kirk, we've got a full period of hockey here, plus another one to play. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh -hoo. Well, Barry, I think, is going to go to the penalty box, but I think they're going to send Kwiatkowski to... Oh! That doesn't make the American fans happy at all, but I, they're going to whistle two on the Cougars, so... Kwiatkowski goes for the Americans. We'll have to get the official call in a minute from uh, Tom Lathan. But uh, the penalties come at the 3.03 mark of the period. And uh, Lathan will be on the uh, phone here momentarily to get the official call. And uh, we'll try to get it to you as uh, referee Hansen is trying to get the information through to the uh, official score. Now they're on the phone back and forth. And uh, should have it for you in a minute here. Coach John Alver over there telling Sean LeBron exactly how he wants this to be played. Well, Kwiatkowski's penalty goes up on the board. And Barry's, nope, Kwiatkowski's comes back off. That's what I thought, was that there would be an extra penalty against the Cougars. Kwiatkowski and Barry probably for, or in Sumner probably for roughing. And I believe this uh, will be a, no, they're motioning right now. Referee Tom Hansen is going to get this all straightened out. Well, we'll take, well, I, maybe they got it straightened out. Yeah. Bones are still ringing all over the building as they try to get it sorted out. We don't want to miss the action here, so we'll stay with you as Ava's off. Now we'll step in against Barnes. And it will be a power play for the Tri-City Americans. And it'll be their first of the night for the Tri-City Americans. And here should come the uh, call. Now timeout's been called by Victoria, and we'll take timeout on this Tri-City's radio American hockey broadcast. Yes. Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the Ruff Giant Burger. Ruff's now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Well, here's the penalties. Barry goes for hooking. That was the first penalty, the one that happened back at the blue line. And then after Anderson and Quit, Kowski went to the boards. There was some uh, chipping away between those two, and they each got two for roughing. The upshot of it all is that the Americans will have their first power play of the night. Kwiatkowski does not figure in the power play team. Barry, however, does figure as a penalty killer for Victoria. Barnes, Nibs, and Kennedy with LeBron and Jakes at the blue line. Face off, Barnes against Avazov. Avazov wins the draw to Penny. Up the right wing for the Cougars. Penny shot, smothered out front by LeBron. Jakes is there as Avazov goes down hard. Now here comes TK. Kennedy as uh, Jakes takes his man out big time. Puck goes left of the Victoria net. Kennedy with it, slides it back up front to LeBron. LeBron takes it to the boards, goes down low to Kennedy. Bodies all over. Barnes starts in. Gets it down low to LeBron. Barnes takes it around behind the net. Wheels on. Yeah! Right. What a move by Barnes. Goes down low. Gets flirty, thinking that Barnes is going to try to wrap him around. And Barnes does that little. Oh, they're wiping it off. Oh, my. Oh, boy, I tell you what, you want to hear 6,000 fans go crazy? Wait till oh, you hear oh. this announcement. They are taking this goal away from Stu Barnes. Well, it'd be interesting to see if Hanson can cook up an excuse for taking it away. 
Oh, my. What a pretty move, and though. Kennedy's going to the penalty box. Kennedy is to number 25, Troy Kennedy. Two minutes for interference at 3.34. No go. 3.34, the call against Kennedy wipes out the power play, wipes out the goal, and Victoria will have their third power play, however brief, 31 seconds worth. They say that Tom Hansen whistled that play before Stu Barnes made that pretty move and tucked it in behind the net. I don't know. I couldn't hear it. It was so loud. But I'll tell you what, that's a gutty call to make in this Coliseum. You got that right. Sure, Stenka off to LeBron to Barnes. Barnes left to the net, tries to center to Jake. Stolen away by Bertamini. He gets it left to Keller. Here comes Keller. Keller up the left side. Four on four. He goes to Young. Clayton Young starts in on Furlan. It's poke checked away. Shot back in behind the Tri-Cities net. Now Bertamini with it. Brings it back out to Wolf. Wolf shot. Wide of the net left. Comes out to the left wing now to Keller at the point. Keller's pass blocked by LeBron. LeBron to Barnes. Here comes Barnes. Two on two. Barnes steps around his man, but Wolf there to take him off the play. Barnes with it. Barnes finds Jakes in the slot, and Jakes can't get his stick down. Comes back out to the right point. Shurstenka, his shot redirected by LeBron to Barnes, right of the net. Now the Cougars bring it out the right wing to Bertamini. Bertamini in a hurry across the blue line, left of the net. Fires it into the right corner. Comes back out to Barnes in the right wing. Barnes steps around a hit there, intended by Young. And with the puck behind his own net is Rob Kraus. Kraus plays it off the right boards to Barnes. Barnes up the right wing. Barnes pulls back into the corner. Feeds a pass, cross ice. Knocked down by the Cougars. It was Naylor who got to it. Naylor, backhand pass to Jason Knox. Knox hit down by Kraus. Knox to the right wing across the blue line. Knox passes it in behind the Tri-Cities net. Comes out to the left wing. Barnes there. Chops it back to neutral ice. Racing after it will be Sumner, and it'll be icing when Sumner touches it. No, they washed it off, and here comes Sumner up the left wing for the Victoria Cougars. Sumner with it. Comes up the left. Sumner across the red line. His pass right side to Naylor. Naylor right, and Kutowitz is there to bang it away. Back into the Victoria zone. Power play, Victoria. Their third of the night. About 20 more seconds in the penalty to Kennedy. Cougars back in their own zone. Barry with it at center ice now. Trying to get around Rennie. Two seconds left in the penalty. Hook checked away by Kutowitz. Kennedy steps onto the ice. Kennedy right back into play as the Cougars shoot it back into the Tri-City zone. Backboard is Kraus. Rob Kraus with it. Goes left now to Kutowitz. Kelly Kutowitz firing at the length of the ice. Into the Victoria zone and Flaherty will play it. No icing there. Out to the right side. Ava's off. Ava's off. Wheels back in behind his own net. Both teams at full strength. Micah Avazov plays it to Kennedy. Victoria one for three on power plays. That first one was not called a power play goal. Puck shot back to the blue line. Kraus is there for the Americans. He'll fire it back into the Victoria zone. Hits Rennie in the zone. Actually hit Rennie in the face in the zone. And uh, faceoff will come outside the Victoria blue line. Kirk, this is the, the Victoria Cougars are winless in the Tri-Cities Coliseum. They've skated out of here the last meeting they had, and that was on the 18th of January at a 2-2 tie. But the 17th of December is the infamous game where they called it with about two minutes and, I believe, 43 seconds left. Yep. And it was that massive line brawl, back-to-back -back line Second brawl. line brawl, right. That's right. So these two teams really, there's not a whole bunch of love lost between them. Nope. McNutt against Glenn Berry in the neutral zone. McNutt wins the draw, goes to Duval. Duval wheels away from Bertamini. Up the left side, shoots a pass ahead, goes left to the net. Racing after it is Fenrath. Fenrath takes his man to the boards, that's Sumner. Right side of the net, McNutt with it. Centered for Fenrath, blocked by Flaherty. Good play by Flaherty, Fenrath redirected that one. Almost got it to go. They tie up along the right wing boards. Delcourt puts a little hit there on uh, Clayton Young. Won't get a whistle, and the puck is tied up. Along the board, space off, right circle in the Victoria zone. Right now, the Americans are 14, 6, and 3 in 23 home dates, in, or 24 home dates at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. A very good home record, um, and they're just coming fresh off a very big win against the division-leading Portland Winterhawks, an 8-2 victory. 
uh, last Tuesday night. Barnes against Avazov will be the faceoff. Barnes has Kennedy on his left and LeBron on the right now. Durant Sandwith in with Jakes at the blue line. Faceoff won by the Cougars. Wolf goes behind the net. Andrew Wolf comes out the left side to Avazov. Cross ice right. Gets right by his man at Sarandwith. And Sandwith will chase it back into the corner for icing. And with icing, the call will be back on this Tri Cities Radio Americans hockey broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hairstylist of the Tri City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full service hair and nail care salon carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lighting. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10. Face off, Victoria Zone, right circle, Barnes against Davis off. Micah wins it. Starts up the left wing now. Wolf with the puck. Gets it ahead. Intended for Avazov. Sandwith will race Avazov for it in the corner. Sandwith gets to it first. Trans Sandwith has to muscle it to Kwiatkowski up the left side. Sandwith getting worked over there by Avazov. He centers to Wolf. Wolf tried to get it left to Naylor. Naylor can't handle it. Cross ice left. Kennedy for the Americans. Here comes Kennedy up the left wing. Troy Kennedy taken down and ridden hard into the boards. Jakes with the puck, centers for Barnes. Barnes can't get to it. Sandwith slaps it back into the Victoria zone. Cougars go back. Keller, boy, I'll tell you what. Kennedy just went off the ice as well, and he's he, he really took a hit. Puck shot down into the Victoria zone. Back for to Slarity, leaves it behind the net for Wolf. Wolf plays it out left. Krause there at the blue line, keeps it in play. Stolen away from him by Naylor. Krause, he gets it back. Rob Krause to the blue line. Krause takes it in to uh, Spenrath, his shot blocked by Flaherty. Bucks loose, Barnes trying to take it away, gets it to Spenrath, back to Barnes. Barnes right in the net, back up front, Cutterwitz, Cutterwitz a drive, wide of the net, comes out left side, cross his shot, goes in right of the net again, back to Cutterwitz. Cutterwitz to the point, down low to Barnes, shovels it down to Delcourt. Delcourt in the corner, Wolf all over him. They get it up front, Bucks loose in the slot, Barnes tried to poke it between Flaherty's legs, wouldn't go, and Delcourt wants a piece of Andrew Wolf. And he dropped his gloves, and Andrew Wolf just kind of just stood there uh, gawking a little bit at Delcourt. And Delcourt's picking up all his stuff now. But I want to tell you something. Rob Krause right there, he showed what how good of a real good defenseman should play. He played back at the point where he's supposed to, took his shot, followed it back in. The, he saw that everybody was crowded up down here on the left side, or, or excuse me, the right side corner, and followed up back around the net where the puck came around, almost centered out like a Stu Barnes move, yep. and almost got himself a goal on that. That was a good play. Heads up play because he knew he had backup behind here at the blue line to help him to cover him for his defensive position, and yet he went down there to, to dig and scrape like a center would. That's a good play by Rob Kraus. Delcourt and Wolf both got two for roughing. And uh, it comes at the 8-11 mark. Still 2-0 Victoria. Cougars with it. Outlet pass goes left. To Gustafson into neutral ice. Here comes Savage. Stolen away from him by Rick Fry. Fry with the puck and we have a whistle. Offside Victoria. Andrew Wolf, two minutes for nothing for the Tracy Americans. Go ahead, Tony. I, the, the momentum here is really staying with the Americans. They've got the crowd here. The, the crowd is really staying in this game tonight ever since the first faceoff, and it's really good to see. Uh, Victoria's playing very well, too. They're ahead two to nothing right now, but things could change so fast in this game. Rennie on the faceoff against Penny. Penny wins it, but it's shot. Well, kept it neutralized. Fry to Rennie. Nice pass, and Rennie dumps it in right of the Victoria net. Back forward is Flaherty. He'll leave it behind the net for Sumner. Rennie races in after him. They get it out to McNutt. McNutt with it. Backhands it down low to Rick Fry. Fry finds Rennie in the slot. Taken away from him by the Cougars. Anderson. Shot back out to Duval at the right point. Plays it down to McNutt. McNutt around to Rennie. Big hit. Oh, Penny took himself right out into the boards. Nobody touched Jackson Penny as Rennie tied up there by Sumner. Now Fry ties up. Jackson Penny will remember that hit for a while. He had Steve Rennie lined up big time. And just as he got there, good old uh, Rob Sumner moved Rennie out of the way. 
Jackson Penny, 36 goals, 45 assists for 81 points. A very big cog in the Victoria Cougar wheel. Well, he took, uh, he has uh, 86 points and a big headache right now. And he is really hurting. One thing about the boards, talked with Rob Krause the other day. He says he likes those type of boards, like the Spokane boards, for example. When a defenseman takes a player in, he likes that springy action in it. He does not like these. They're hard. They're, They're super hard. Stiff. And you could actually see what happened right there to Jackson Penny. He did. He had, uh, he had some people lined up. And we'll take time out now on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Cutowitz, the fence with the Tri-City Americans. When it's game night, I need to get the Coliseum on time, and I kind of like to go in style, right to the front door. That's why I take the new Ben Franklin Transit. For the hockey games of February 12th and 19th, Ben Franklin Transit has the sweetheart of a deal. Two can ride for the price of one. Don't get iced out over parking. Take the bus. <laughs> Ten fifty-eight to play, second period. Shift change, Tri-Cities. Kennedy's back on. Jakes is back on. Jackson Penny won't be for a few minutes. It'll be Clayton Young facing off against Barnes. Victoria zone left circle. Goes back to the right, back to the boards. Comes out to Jakes along the boards. To Kennedy. Takes it away from Will Anderson along the right wing. Now shot back into the Tri-City zone. Sure, Stenka back to play it. Bertamini racing in on him. Now Furlan comes out and puts a glove on Bertamini. Furlan screening Bertamini off the play. Nice play by Furlan, and he gets a good hand for it. Puck shot into neutral ice, stolen there by the Cougars. Seaton. Now the Americans get it right back. Barnes across the blue line right. Stu Barnes pulls up at the blue line, starts in, goes left. Fisher Stenka a drive. Blocked out front by Victorious Keller. Here come the Cougars. Right wing, Bertamini. Bertamini starts in on Furlan, shoots. Furlan blocks it. And Bertamini goes to the boards hard for his trouble. Now the Americans with the puck comes out right to LeBron. LeBron finds Kennedy and Barnes. Kennedy right wing. Kennedy across the blue line. A drive just over the net and up into the crowd. That was a rocket. And it hit in the uh, entryway and probably went out into the uh, concourse at 100 miles an hour. You can just see the people how just split the crowd right in half as it went up. There, was, That's good, though. The Tri City Kennedy American looked fans. like Moses at the Red Sea. <laughs> that's right. It's good to see, though, that the fans around here now are finally picking up this puck. And if you've got that thing coming right at you, uh, Jim Craig, I hope he's doing okay down there. He got one really bad right in the nose. And I'm, uh, he's, he's a goaltender, so he's, he knows what those are like. 10.03 to go in the period. Face off, right circle. Victoria zone. Chopped down by Krauss. Into the corner right. Sven Rath with it. And Kwiatkowski. Sven Rath and Kwiatkowski chasing around behind the net. Kwiatkowski taken out big time by Jason Knox. Along the boards. Comes back into neutral ice. The Americans back for it. Krauss. And we have a Cougar along the boards again and a penalty coming up and believe, that could be a big one yep i believe that's micah Avazov down there spin is going to go to the uh, penalty box and uh, well they tend to Avazov. we'll take time out on this tri-cities radio americans hockey broadcast Russ. Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the Ruff Giant Burger. Ruff's, now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. For checking from behind at 10-14. Dodged a bullet on that one. Wow, boy, I'll tell you. Well, Spenraff goes for two as uh, Avazov goes off under his own steam. And it's power play number four for the Cougars. Face off at neutral ice. Rennie against Clayton Young. Two goaltenders, Flaherty and Furlan watch on. Face off, one by the Cougars. They come up the left wing. Naylor, he fires it into the Tri-City zone. Furlan leaves it behind the net. Shoots it back out to center ice. Racing after it is Rennie. Rennie picks it up on the left wing. Rennie taken off the play down low. Rennie will try to kick it loose as the Cougars having trouble getting much offense on their power play here as Rennie ties up with Will Anderson, and they'll tie it up there. 
I'll tell you what, Rennie right there showed why exactly he's put on this power play or this penalty killing squad. He is so quick and his extra hustle getting down into the boards down there to cause a, a tie up. That's what it's all about. Now Delcourt and Wolf come off after their two minute roughing penalties are over. And the faceoff will come in the left circle, Victoria zone. Steve is most viable for his determined play along the boards, and that's a great example of it right there. He's in his third year. Rennie from Surrey, British Columbia, suburb of Vancouver. Faceoff won by Rennie. Shot on the faceoff by Nibs, wide of the net. Cougars back to neutral ice with it. Savage drops it back now to Len Barry. Barry up the right wing. His pass blocked by the Americans and shot back out of there by Krause. Back forward is Avazov. Avazov goes left to Will Anderson now at the red line. Anderson fires it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Krause has it behind the net from Furland. Gets it left now to Calvin Nibs. Cougars in on it in a hurry, but here come the Americans. Nibs and Rennie. Nibs pass blocked by Anderson. Knocked away by Rennie again. Back to Nibs. Nibs. Looks at a shot, loses it to Abazoff, right in the slot, right of the Victoria net. Rennie goes off the off the ice and on is Barnes. Puck shot cross ice by the Cougars. Barnes trying to get to it. Hook from behind by Kerr, can't get to it. Now Abazoff up the left wing, working against Barnes, goes right to Savage. Joel shoots it in, a bouncer in front of Furland. Furland puts it off the glass, comes around behind the net and plays it out of there. Barnes trying to get it loose. Savage has it. For the Cougars, out left now to Jeff Kerr. Kerr sweeps it around behind the net, cross there for the Americans. Plays it out to Kennedy. Kennedy loses it to Avazov. Right side, back to Avazov at the blue line. Back for the Cougars, and it goes right by Micah Avazov along the dasher board, and it will go out of play. They'll face it off in neutral ice. Good penalty killing by the Americans again on the Cougars. You know what it looks like? It looks like to me like the Americans are on the power play and Victoria with the man advantage looks like they're killing the penalty. It almost does, doesn't it? Coach Wayne Nacko over there, he is really steamed over there. He's been putting his fist up against the glass, his foot up against the boards over there. He's screaming and yelling at his players trying to get that winning combination to get this power play started. 2-0 Cougars lead. One of them a power play goal. And the other one technically was not, although for all intents and purposes it was. But time had run out in the power play. Face off, shot into the Tri-City zone. Duval around behind the net. Five seconds left in the penalty. A drive from the right side. Blocked up front. Another shot blocked by Rennie from Wolf. Now Delcourt, head man for Spenrath. It's blocked away by the Cougars, and the puck goes in right of the Victoria net. And we have a two-line offside pass. Two-line pass. Against the uh, called against the Americans, they'll bring it back out to neutralize. Well, you know what is that? Is that the, about the fourth or fifth power play that the uh, Cougars have had? And I think all but the one that they scored the goal on, the Americans have completely destroyed it and really kept it down in the Cougars zone. Face off, Rennie wins it, but the Cougars have it. Back to Keller. Keller with it brings it up the right wing now to Wolf. Wolf taken down hard by Kutowitz. And Furlan plays the puck back out the right wing. Kutowitz and Spenrath dig for it. They lose it to the Cougars right of the net. Cross ice pass intended for number 15 Naylor, but he wasn't home. Now Rennie's pass knocked away by Victoria. Cougars go cross ice right. Shot back into the Tri City zone. Duval is there. Murray Duval starts up for the Americans. Headman pass to Rennie. Delcourt to Rennie. He redirects it into the left corner. Rennie races in on, Sa on Wolf. Wolf drops it back to Cutowitz underneath. Goes down low to Rennie. Rennie with the puck. Back up front now to Delcourt. Delcourt gets away from Clayton Young. Into the corner it goes. Rennie trying to dig it loose. Rennie does get it loose. Looks for Spenrath. Drops it behind for Delcourt. He'll be tied up there with Sumner, and they'll tie it up in the corner as Clayton Young goes down. But I don't think he got knocked. I think he just lost his balance and fell that time. Remember, hockey fans, this is the first of a two-game homestand this weekend. Coming up on Sunday night, the Seattle Thunderbirds make their appearance to the Tri-Cities Coliseum. A 6 o'clock start. You don't want to miss all the fun and exciting action of Tri-City American hockey. Get your tickets now at the Coliseum box office. Open seven days away from 9 to 7 o'clock. The Seattle Thunderbirds on Sunday night. Whoa, that'll be a good one. 6.45 to go in the... 
second period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Faceoff will come in the left circle. Now we have uh, referee Hansen yelling at giving Victoria an opportunity to make a uh, last substitution. Apparently they Three. Trying to get something started. Yeah. Well, they were short one player. That's the problem. Now onto the ice comes Clayton Young, and they're ready to go. Young against LeBron. It goes into the left corner. LeBron ties up his man. Puck comes out right to uh, Seaton. Seaton losing it to Jakes. Jakes and Kennedy strip it away from him. Swept back into neutral ice by Clayton Young. Back forward is Dirksen. Dirksen fires across ice left to Barnes. Barnes ahead to LeBron. LeBron. Chases it into the Victoria zone, but the Cougars clear it back out. Bertamini along the right wing. His pass knocked down by TK. Kennedy hit from behind by Bertamini. Now cross ice to Anderson. Right to Sumner. Sumner firing it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Furlan will leave it there for Jakes. Jakes around behind the net. Puck loose. Stolen by the Cougars right in the net. Furlan goes out into the right corner, and now he'll play it out to the right wing for Wolf. Wolf stops it. Now Barnes and LeBron chase after it. Barnes has it to Kennedy, and he can't get his stick to it. Beautiful pass and a penalty coming up. Boy, cross-checking. And he was severely cross-checked into the board, I believe, by Seaton, number 17. Troy Kennedy was just pummeled. 14.08, and Seaton goes to the penalty box. But what a pretty pass by Stu Barnes. Oh. Seaton. A uh, rather recent addition to the Victoria roster. Let's see if we can find him here. He's not listed in the. Uh... I believe this is the uh, Tri City Americans' second power play, but you couldn't tell the way they've been playing on the shorthanded side. They've been looking like they've had a power play all night against the uh, Victoria Cougars' power play. Face off, left circle, Victoria zone. Rennie was Spinrath and Delcourt. Rennie against Avazov. Avazov wins it, drops it behind the net. Cougars slap it out, comes to the right point, gets by Jakes. And the Americans will race back after it. Furlan will leave it for LeBrun. LeBrun sweeps it back now to Steve Jakes, up the right wing. Jakes will start to bring it up himself, finds Delcourt on the right wing, looks at Anderson. Drop back pass for Spenrath. Spenrath from the right side goes down low, and we have a whistle as... I'm not real sure exactly. Well, they were looking at the net. That's exactly that was what it was. dislodged. That's what it was. I don't know how it got dislodged. It didn't uh, look like it got moved much, but apparently did. And they'll face off in the Victoria zone, right circle. Now, you know, a, a goaltender can get a two-minute delay of game penalty for dislodging that in, intentionally. And uh, I didn't see exactly who had done it, if there was anybody checked into it. But obviously, no harm, no foul. We'll have a face off. And Barnes with Kennedy and Nibs now. The forwards for the Americans. Barnes at center. Kennedy on his left wing. Nibs on his right. Jakes and LeBrun right and left at the blue line. For Victoria, Avazov takes the face off. Micah Avazov. Now he'll be excused. And in will come Jackson Penny. Penny from Penticton, British Columbia. Faces off with Stu Barnes. Bucks down. Into the right corner it goes. Anderson with it. Nibs working him over. Comes out to the right wing. Ava's off. Tries to get around LeBron. He does, but Jakes will steal the pass away for the Americans. Slap back into the Tri-City zone now by Penny. And Furland leaves it for Jakes. Jakes starts up. Cross ice right to LeBron. LeBron up the right wing. Steps around a screen from Nibs. LeBron with it. Cross ice left to Kennedy. Kennedy has it stolen away by the Cougars. Jackson Penny. All over Troy Kennedy. Now back forward is Jakes. Jakes up the right wing to Nibs. Calvin Nibs cross ice left now to LeBrun. Sean LeBrun brings it up for Tri Cities. Pulls up at the left point. Finds Barnes in the slot. Barnes starts in. Barnes wheels around in the left corner. Barnes with it back to LeBrun. LeBrun right. Jake. Jakes a drive. Locked up front by Flaherty. Good move. And shot back out of there by the Cougars. Andrew Wolf doing the work for the Victoria Cougars. Now Furlan. Fires an outlet pass to Nibs. Nibs, head man to Barnes. Whoops. Nobody could handle it but LeBron there to glove the bad pass. Shoot it into the Victoria zone. Flaherty gloves it. Skates around in a circle and decides he can't do anything with it but freeze it. 
and he'll hold it right there. Flaherty, as the goalies allowed him to take a couple of steps, right. looking for an outlet pass, and there was no way, no how, nowhere. He was completely surrounded by the black and gold jerseys, and uh, Flaherty was just kind of spun around there for a moment. What is that? Nobody gets in to see the wizard. No way, no how. <laughs> Face off right side, right circle, Victoria Zone. Nib is coming off the ice now, and it's Delcourt and Spenrath. Left and right for Barnes with Jason LeBrun at the blue line. Face off, right of the net. Shot back out to Jakes at the right wing. Jake starts in, goes low to Spenrath. Spenrath centers as a shot taken, but Barnes is tied up, covered by Avazoff. No, Avazoff with the puck, goes left, starts in on Furland, wheels around. Barnes was taken down by number 10, Joel Savage, and he just pounced on top of Barnes as the puck is shot up into the Tri-Cities bench now. Well, you and went, uh, what, was wow. go, what was going on down there? It was about uh, 20 feet in front of Wade Flaherty down there in the um, Victoria Cougars zone. And number 10, Joel Savage, the 13th pick, first round pick for, uh, for Buffalo, was on top of Greg Delcourt down there, and he just kind of laid on him, a little bit of a delay type thing, you know, keep just him taking down there. Taking a little there. rest. That's right, you know. And the Wade Flaherty had to come out and kind of tap him with his stick, tell him to get up. Three, not, uh, three seconds remaining in the penalty. The Americans have been on the power play. Cutowitz with it at the red line. Fires it in to the Victoria net. Flaherty stops it behind the net for Anderson. Comes right back out to Cutowitz at the left point. Cougars back to full strength. Cutowitz shot. Blocked by Flaherty. Rebound. Slides in front of the net. Nobody there for the Americans. Here come the Cougars up the left wing. Racing after it is Mike Seaton. Seaton going into the corner left. Krause takes him off the puck. As Kwiatkowski goes in after it, the puck is frozen there. 2-0 Victoria in the second period here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. 3.29 to go in the period. 2-0 Victoria. Well, the Tri-City Americans with a victory tonight can move a sole possession of fifth place. Uh, Spokane Chiefs idle tonight and a very important game. Portland is at Seattle for that fourth and final spot. We need to catch Seattle. Rennie. Face off comes out to Anderson. His shot blocked by Furlan, and Furlan will cover it up. Rebound came right out in front of Furlan, and Furlan finally had to fall on it because the Americans' defensemen were unable to get the puck out from in front of him. And Clayton Young took a swipe at it and uh, connected with it, and it was a great play by Frank Furlan. But uh, now we see the return of number 18, Clayton Young, after he took that vicious hit down into the boards down there. Uh, looks like his ankle is all fixed up and ready to go. 2-0, Cougars lead, second period, and that was just a bad drop by the linesman. And uh, right. Clayton Young is an incredible face-off man. It, against PA the other day, he won 12 of 15 face-offs. McNutt now to face off against Young. Well, he won a bunch against the Americans the other night, too. Now McNutt kicks it down low to Cutowitz. Cutowitz up the right wing, loses it there to Bertamini. Now Rennie back forward for the Americans. Outlet pass to Kwiatkowski. Redirects it to Rennie on a give and go. Rennie chasing after it goes left to Steve McNutt. McNutt across the blue line. Chases it into the corner. McNutt gets around Sumner. Americans with it. Rennie right of the net. Sumner chases it after him. McNutt puts Sumner onto the boards. McNutt and Rennie with Sumner. Now McNutt with it. Takes it around behind the Victoria net. Steve McNutt drops it down low for Kwiatkowski as McNutt is hooked, and he goes down. Puck shot back into the Tri-City zone. Furland comes out, plays it to center ice. His pass stolen by Anderson, right side, a shot, and an empty net. Boy, they had a chance, and Furland was nowhere to be found as he took a chance and came way out of the net. Back forward is Andrew Wolf. They dodged the bullet that time. Boy, Cutowitz plays it ahead now to Kwiatkowski. Kwiatkowski to LeBron. LeBron, right wing, his shot. Flaherty covers it up. Flaherty took it right in the chest. Drops it behind the net. They play it out left side to Jeff Kerr. Kerr with the puck. Kennedy puts a hit on Kerr. And they go down on the ice. Now LeBrun dives in there and takes Anderson down. And they'll cover it up right there. And the linesman heading right over there, Brent Frizzell and Jay Shares. And boy, they are right on that. Lots of bodies on the ice there. And anything can go on down underneath one of those piles. It's like reaching for a fumble, you might say. 2 nothing, Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. Both teams at full strength. The Americans 0 for 2 on power plays. There are only two coming in this period. 
Cougars scored a power play goal and a full strength goal in the first period. Face off top of the right circle now. Victoria zone. Two minutes to play in the period. Barnes with Kennedy and LeBron. Buck is down. One by Barnes and a whistle immediately on the face off. Brett Frizzell, one of the linesmen, the back linesmen, saw something there he didn't like. He wants to see this face off redrop. And they'll drop it again at the toward the top of the right circle. Now Kennedy will come in on the faceoff. Kennedy against Jackson Penny. And it's drawn by Penny right back to Wolf. Wolf beside his own net. Wolf trying to get around Kennedy in the slot in front of his net. Brings it out to neutral ice. Andrew Wolf going coast to coast across the blue line. Shoots it in left of the Tri Cities net. Kerr dropping it back, but Jakes is there for Tri Cities. Up front, Kerr, his shot blocked by Furlan. Chasing after it is Savage. Tried to get it up, they score. And what happened right there? Joel Savage took a pass or took a shot, went back behind the net, was trying to center it out in front. As soon as it came back out, it hit Frank Furlan in the back of the pad and bounced into the net. They count them regardless how they get there. And Victoria has now taken a three to nothing lead over the Tri-City America. Savage getting the goal on an assist from Furlan. And that's his second goal of the night. Furlan. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> three nothing. Victoria leading the Tri-City America. Goal Savage unassisted at 18-13. <clears throat> Tom's got a dose of the French tonight. Yeah, I, guess. I noticed that. Face off into the Victoria zone. Right side for Victoria Sumner. Bring it up the right wing. Fired into the Tri City zone. Furlan lets it go around behind the net. Comes out left. Now to Rick Fry. Fry down low to Duval. Duval to Kraus. Kraus head man to Delcourt. Delcourt at the red line. Looks for Fry. Right side overshoots him. Goes in on the Victoria net. Stopped by Duval at the blue line. Shot in right of the net. Taken away from Anderson and now back to neutral ice as Young gets a stick on it. Now the Americans chase it into the Victoria zone. Bing, bing, it goes right back into the Tri-City zone. And when Krause touches it, it'll be icing. With icing the call, we'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hairstylist of the Tri-City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full-service hair and nail care salon. Carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lightening. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10. I'm in the right circle, Victoria Zone. Cougars leading 3 0. Here in the Tri-Cities Coliseum, late in the second period. Face off, right side, goes to Wolf. Wolf dropping it out. Tried to get it to Bertamini. He does. Mike Bertamini with it. Rennie taking Bertamini out. One minute to play. Puck goes out to center ice, and we have a whistle. Played off a high stick. On to the ice now is Jason Dunham from the Americans. His first shift tonight. Dunham, number 17. 5'10", 155 pounder out of Edmondson. Good little player. Yep. He was with Wayburn in the Saskatchewan League. And the uh, Americans have had him listed a while, and they brought him up for a look. Face off. McKenzie against Dunham. Dunham wins it. Cutowitz drops it down low into the left circle. Keller from the corner. Starts it out for Victoria. Puck stolen away by the Americans. Goes to Rennie in the slot. Rennie slides it toward the Victoria net. Dunham. Racing it on Keller. Gets elbowed right off the play. A little more beef would help there. Left side it goes. Cougars bring it up to Young. Up the left wing to Bertamini. Steps around his man. Starts in on Furlan. And we have a whistle. Penalty, on, a coming, penalty up. coming up. As the Americans have the puck. Hooking the call. And now we're going to have Dirksen. And number 18, Clayton Young. Dirksen had Young down on the ice. And the big linesman, Jay Shures, comes in, grabs Dirksen by the scruff of the neck and lifted him right up off of Clayton Young. And I think there's only one linesman that could actually do that, and I believe that is Jay Schurz. He is a giant. Yeah, he's a big man. I want to know. Takes no static. 
you got to do that when you're in this league, you know? And in the NHL, these linesmen, they earn every single penny they get. Well, Dirksen goes to the penalty box. Now Dirksen's going to the... Well, Dirksen and Kutowitz are both going to the penalty box. And we'll have to wait until they sort all this out. I believe a hooking call is going to be called against Kelly Kutowitz. Two minutes against Kutowitz for hooking. At least uh, two minutes against Kutowitz goes on the board. Dirksen leaves the ice and goes to the dressing room. And uh, the Americans over at their bench talking with Coach John Albert. And uh, it's going to be a five on three situation for the remaining part of this period. Kind of looks that way. No, oh, well, there's the other. There's Rob back there. Krauss back there talking with Furlan. We'll have to wait and get the uh, call. Kutowitz goes to the penalty box. Dirksen. I'm sure has a five minute major. First of all, for the Victoria Cougars, number 18, Clayton Young, two minutes for roughing. For the Tri-City Americans, number three, Kelly Kutowitz, two minutes for hooking. Number nine, Devin Dirksen, two minutes for roughing. Those penalties at 1936. Power play Cougars, and they start to bring it up. The right wing, Kennedy with it. The Americans, Kennedy in the slot, taken off the play by Rob Sumner. Kennedy taken into the boards hard, and he falls on top of the puck, and uh, they'll freeze it in the Victoria zone. That was a good play by Rob Sumner, too, to take Troy Kennedy completely out of the play. He played the man, not the puck, and that generally is what happens. If you get a rookie defenseman out there that hasn't played too much, get a good goal scorer like Troy Kennedy, they can use that to their advantage. Kennedy can go in there and do a little bit of a head fake and make him watch the puck instead of the body. Yep. And then what will happen is, is that he'll get turned around and he'll just take that puck and just bring it right on back. That's a good play by Sutter there. Avers off against Barnes. Face off left circle. Victoria zone. Cougars on a power play. Jay Shures to drop the puck. He does. It's drawn back into the corner for Sumner. Goes around behind the net. Barnes trying to take him off the play. But without much luck, his time runs out in the period. Sumner and Barnes exchanging uh, pleasantries down there along the board. But not much will come of it as time runs out. In the second period, the, the score, Victoria 3, Tri-Cities nothing. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. <laughs> the Tri-City. Will Anderson has a puck. Go ahead. And it hey, shot back. <laughs> hey, buddy. I got caught. I'm sorry. Hey, that's okay. Down behind the Victoria net now as Will Anderson brings it out. Anderson across the blue line. They've never started a period that quickly. I was having to reach over and grab your sheet there. I didn't have one in front of me. <laughs> Shot back to neutral ice as the Americans take it, or Cougars take it around behind the Americans' net now. Penny clears to Anderson, and he's offside. Just underway in the third period, Kirk Williamson, the late Kirk Williamson, along with Tony Ott. I was nice trying to, to reach over there and look over this, because yours is a lot better than mine, and I'm sitting <laughs> here going, well, let's see. I'll get that uh, looking back out there. Oh, well. I thought we had lost you for a minute. Well, I did, too. I got down in the... Got caught, caught in traffic down there, and I couldn't get around a whole bunch of people out in the concourse having a good old time. <laughs> 19 minutes to play in the hockey game. Americans down 3-0. Here comes Naylor across center ice. Goes on the right side to Gustafson. His first shift of the game, I believe. And the Americans steal it away as Gustafson tries to get it down low. Now it slides toward the net, and Jakes takes it around behind. 
Savage gets a whack on it. Jakes takes it back around behind the Tri-Cities net and shoots it back into the Victoria zone. 14 seconds remaining and the penalty to Kelly Cutowitz. Cougars wheel around and Savage will bring it out. Joel Savage across the red line. Feeds a pass right intended for Gustafson. Poke checked away by Krause. Back to Wolf now at the red line. He fires it in off the glass behind the Tri-Cities net. Cutowitz back on the ice. Power play is over for the Victoria Cougars. Now Delcourt ahead intended for Kennedy. Loses it at the Victoria at the Tri-Cities blue line. The Americans shoot it back to neutral ice. Shot into the Victoria zone. It will be icing when Sumner puts his... Nope. They'll wipe it off and Sumner brings it up the right wing. Sumner tried to drop it ahead now. And Avazov has it as Barry couldn't handle it. Avazov from the left side shoots. Ferlin makes the save. Comes to Duval in the right corner. Duval trying to muscle Seaton off the puck. And it comes right out now to LeBrun. Here comes LeBrun and Spinraff. LeBrun splits the defense. Right side shoots. Blocked by Flaherty. LeBrun and Barnes chase for the puck down low. Now LeBrun gets it on his stick. Tries to slide it down to Barnes. As they dig for it in the right corner, LeBrun has a chance for it. Kicks it out over to Barnes. Barnes kicks it in front of the net, and it's stopped there by Flaherty. 3-0 Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. they got to come out and make something happen right now. Exactly. Right now is the whole thing. That third goal was the backbreaker, I believe. Uh. That one that bounced off of Furlan's pads into the net. Then the one that wasn't called a goal that Stu Barnes had done where the penalty was uh, called against Troy Kennedy. Those are the two critical points in this game that I can see so far, Kurt. Yeah, I think you're right. And you know, it's interesting. The crowd has not gotten on the referee tonight, hardly at all. And I suspect because he really hasn't uh, deserved it. The Americans just have not played that well. There's a shot by Jakes on the faceoff, and it's deflected, but just wide to the net. Had Flaherty beaten. Now Nibs with it. Nibs. Quick wrist shot toward the net. Flaherty pokes it away. Now Rennie takes it down low for the Americans. Off of his stick to Jackson Penny. They race in for it in the corner. Comes back up front. Rennie on his stick. Rennie shoots. Gets through the five hole on Flaherty. But it didn't get into the net. Now Rennie with it. Or Nibs with it along the left wing. Gets it down low. And Jennifer Kennedy taken away from him. Goes into the corner. Now comes back out to the left point. Penalty coming up. As Kennedy dives on top of the puck. And we have a penalty. Kennedy was taken down big time by Savage. And that's who's going to the penalty box, number 10, Joel Savage. He's going to sit for a couple minutes for holding Troy Kennedy. This gives the Tri-City Americans a power play opportunity at the 16.50 mark. And what a great time to do it. Plenty of time left in this period. Yep. And they need a goal badly right now. Oh, they got Rob Sumner for it. And they were standing right over the top of uh, Kennedy. I saw two minutes for holding against Rob Sumner. Face off, left circle, Victoria zone. Did you see Sumner even hold him there? Nope. <laughs> Spinrath and Kwiatkowski right and left with Barnes. LeBron and Jakes at the blue line. American fans got the rowdy rags out. Yeah. And the face off, won by Barnes from Clayton Young to LeBron. On the left wing, LeBron steps around his man. Now Kwiatkowski has it. Nice pass out to Barnes. Barnes a drive. Smothered up front at the blue line. Now Jakes fires it down. Kwiatkowski tries to redirect it. It comes out left to LeBron. Back up front to Barnes. Barnes left. LeBron. LeBron at the left point now. He and J Barnes change places. Goes down low to Kwiatkowski. Back up front to LeBron. LeBron a shot. Redirected by Kwiatkowski. A shot. He shoots it wide of the net. Flaherty made the save. Now down low as Barnes gets it to Spenrath. He tries to wrap it around. Rejected once, twice. Spenrath jams it in. And it's shot back to neutral ice. They race back for it. Furlan plays the outlet pass to LeBron. LeBron over to Jakes. Jakes ahead left side to Barnes. Back to LeBron. Here comes Sean LeBron. Drops it off to Barnes. Stewie sweeps it right back to LeBron. LeBron brings it up. Sean LeBron crosses with Kennedy. and slapped right back for the Cougars. But Jakes has it. Jakes plays it left to Avazov. Avazov loves it. Takes it in. Goes right. And offside is Jackson Penny. Boy, I tell you what. Lots of fast and furious action right in front of Wade Flaherty down there in, in front of the Victoria goal. Darren Kwiatkowski had a wide open net. Just couldn't find the grip on it. 
and another opportunity is away off the boards. 54 seconds remaining in the penalty to Victoria's Rob Sumner. Faceoff will come at center ice. Barnes will face off against Micah Avazov. There are a pair of blue chippers. Oh, tell you, you what. Mm -hmm. Barnes and Avazov on the faceoff. Drawn back to uh, Andrew Wolf. Wolf fires it in left of the Tri Cities net. Backboard is LeBrun. Sean LeBrun. Power play. 47 seconds remaining. LeBrun will bring it out. Goes left to uh, Rennie. Rennie up the left wing now to Barnes. Barnes with the puck. As they take it down low. Stolen away by Avazov. Micah Avazov up the right wing now for Victoria. Avazov walks in on Furlan, shoots, pucks loose in a slot, and Furlan kicks it away. Puck was loose right in the goal mouth. Will Anderson with the puck. And we have a whistle for stop. Victoria. We're gonna, they're going to go ahead and uh, put back the net on the magnets, but what a great save by Frank Furlan. That puck was bouncing right out in front, and he just gave it that little extra ump and kicked the puck out of the way. And he had plenty of Victoria Cougars prowling right down on the goal mouth. 23 seconds remaining in the penalty to Rob Sumner. I'm Kirk Williamson along with Tony Ott, joined in the broadcast booth right now by Jeff McIntosh and his dad, John, who was on our uh, broadcast last night. Here, let's turn this around, Jeff. We can do it without taking your ears off. There you go. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Where do you go to school? Cascade. Cascade in Kennewick. Good to have you with us. This is a neat place to watch a game, isn't it? Yeah. Faceoff will come in the left circle in the Tri-City zone. It will be Barnes against number 16, Len Berry. Barnes and Berry, left circle, faceoff down. Drawn back to the point left. Anderson, his shot blocked by Furland. Drops it for Jakes. Jakes up the right wing for the Americans. Here they come on the attack. 17 seconds left in the power play. Feeds a pass right to Kwiatkowski. Darren takes it all the way down into the right corner. Looks for Stu Barnes. Comes back, back up front to Duval. Feeds it left. Barnes. Barnes goes right. Jakes a drive wide of the net. Comes back out to Duval. Two seconds left in the power play. Barnes with it down low. Leaves it for Spenrath. Spenrath drops it down to Barnes. Sumner back into play. They center it in a slot. Poked away by Flaherty. Here come the Cougars. Back up the right wing. Outlet pass left to Savage. It'll rebound into the Tri-City zone. Duval is there. Murray Duval gets the puck away from Savage. Takes it up the right wing. Puts it right past the stick of Greg Delcourt. And Delcourt will take it up the left wing to Spenrath. Drops it for Delcourt. Delcourt, left wing, pulls up short. Finds Spenrath on the left circle. Spenrath with it, takes it down low, sweeps it back to Delcourt. To Duval at the point, and it gets by Murray Duval. On the stick of Clayton Young, he brings it up the right wing. Drops it back for Bertamini. Bertamini right of the Tri-Cities net. Mike Bertamini, puck checked away from him. Now Wolf has it, goes down low to Clayton Young. With the puck out to the left wing, a shot by Kerr. Wide of the net, played off of Krauss. Shot back in and redirected by Bertamini. Furlan gets a stick on it. Now here comes Barnes. Barnes ahead to Delcourt. Up the right wing. Delcourt left intended for Nibs. Goes right by his stick and Anderson has it. Will Anderson up the right wing to Bertamini. A two-line pass called against the Victoria Cougars. For those of you that may not have heard during the intermission, this score just in from Seattle. Portland is leading the Thunderbirds 3-2 in the third period. Whoa. Just three to two. Just three to two at I, the very beginning of the third period. I imagine that's a big house over there too tonight. You bet it is. Rennie on the faceoff against Jackson Penny. Rennie with Nibs on his left, Delcourt on the right. Defensemen are Kraus and Dirksen. It'll be Jackson Penny on the faceoff. He wins it, but Dirksen or but Delcourt chases it into the into the uh, right boards. Chopped away from him, and Penny has it. Penny left of the net, shoots it in, but it goes wide of the Tri-Cities net. Comes out right side to Nibs. Calvin Nibs wheels around behind the net. Nibs will bring it out for the Americans. Feeds it up the right side, intended for Delcourt. And the puck goes back into the Victoria zone. Backboard is Will Anderson. He's around behind the net. Cougars really got it opened up now. Savage shoots across ice left for Kerr. Kerr a drive, but it's whistled down as Furlan puts it up into the crowd. The nice. whistle came before the shot, though. Nice catch up there by one of the fans in about the eighth row of the H section. And the faceoff will come back out in the neutral zone just outside the Tri-Cities blue line. 
Cougars leading 3 0, 13 13 remaining in the third period. For Tri Cities, the line is McNutt now at center with LeBron and Kennedy. LeBron left, Kennedy right. Duval and Cutowitz, the defense pair. Avazov for Victoria with Barry and Naylor. Puck shot into the Tri City zone on the faceoff. Goes over Furlan Stick. Out to the right wing. LeBron trying to get it. Gets it to McNutt. McNutt brings it up. Leaves it for Duval. Duval to the right wing boards. Duval cross ice left for Cutowitz. He takes it off the board. Shoots it in left to the Victoria net. Goes around where Flaherty stops it. Leaves it for Andrew Wolf. Wolf steps around a man, brings it out, four on three. Here come the Cougars. Wolf but drives it into the left corner. Furlan will leave it behind the net for Duval. Duval will bring it out for the Americans. His pass knocked away by Naylor. Naylor losing it at the blue line. Americans get it back. Naylor smothers it. Shot left. Clayton Young into the Tri-City zone. Cutowitz back behind his own net. Cutowitz up the left wing to LeBron now. LeBron cross ice for McNutt and the Cougars break it up again. Clayton Young. Shoots it into the Tri City zone. Furlan comes out. Will leave it. But nope. Plays it out along the board. Still LeBron. LeBron gets it. Redirects it to McNutt. McNutt shoots at the length of the ice. Backboard is Sumner. Sumner will take it. Back in behind his own net. Starts out the right side. Outlet pass quickly to Bertamini. Drops it. But Spenrath is there. Spenrath works in. Backhand shot. No. Taken away from him. Right side. Chased around behind the Victoria net. Barnes taken down by Sumner. Now Kwiatkowski races in on Young. And they're down, but Barnes pass taken, stolen by Clayton Young. Shot back to neutral ice, but sure Stenka there for the Tri City Americans. Americans trailing the Victoria Cougars. Headman pass, Barnes. Barnes going to break away. And we have a whistle as Pops Barnes caught, caught the pass two lines. Boy, you almost saw that. They almost caught Victoria on the fly right there as they were in the middle of their line chain. A nice pass up there to Stu Barnes, but Stu is in ahead of the puck across that blue line. And when that happens, they whistle that play dead and bring it back out to neutral ice for a faceoff. Well, I've, I have not seen Jim Craig return to the uh, American bench. Great point. Hopefully everything's okay with the trainer, Jim Craig, who received a puck in the assistant face. Assistant trainer uh, Dick Ward is down there uh, in uh, Craig's uh, custom spot there on the faceoff. Shot back into the Victoria zone. Wolf behind his own net. Wolf starts out the right side. Andrew Wolf looking it over. Goes left to Kerr. Kerr taken off the play by Jake. Shot back into the Tri City zone. Shrestenka fires it right side. Tried to get it to Barnes. Stu losing it there, but Jake's has it up the right wing. Shoots it into the Victoria zone. Racing it after it is Spenrath. And Barnes from the left gets to Shrestenka at the left point. Cougars stolen by Barnes. Barnes in the slot. Hooked by Kerr. Tried to backhand it to Delcourt. Barnes getting it back as Victoria knocks him down once. Delcourt shot wide of the net right. Rennie hung up. Can't get to or Spinrath rather hung up. Can't get to it. Cougars bring it up the right wing. Penny brings it down. Penny a drive and he shoots it right over the Tri Cities net. Back for it is Kraus. Kraus will bring it out. Kraus starts up the left side. Rob Kraus skating quickly. He's going to bring it all the way to the blue line. Steps between two defenders. Backhands it for Barnes. Nice pass, but Barnes can't get to it. Shot back out of there by Victoria to Barry. Barry one on one with Dirksen. Barry brings it down, a drive, and it's wide of the net out to the right side. Comes all the way back out to Knox. Knox at the blue line, upended by Delcourt. Now Barnes whistles in there, takes the puck away. Barnes with it, shoots it into the slot for Nibs. Nibs will play it off the right wing boards. Out front, Dirks in a drive. Redirected out front, and it goes to Barnes. Barnes dropping it low for Delcourt. Delcourt taken to the boards by Anderson. They dig for it underneath as Barnes skates off the ice. In comes Rennie. Puck goes down low. Now Delcourt digs it off the board. Delcourt centers it for Rennie in the slot, and Rennie can't handle the pass. Puck back into neutral ice. Kraus back for it in the Tri City zone. Kraus waits behind his net, fires a pass, length of the ice on goal. Kennedy races in after it, but he can't quite get to it, but they get it into the Victoria zone as long as it's on net. And the Cougar goalie has to play it. And it comes up the left wing as Andrew Young, or Clayton Young, the other, races after it for Victoria. Takes it into the Tri-City zone. Now Cutowitz shoots it around left to right behind the Tri-City's net. There's Bertamini. But Duval will take it away from him. Duval around behind the net. Here comes Duval. Murray Duval bringing it up for the Americans. Lead pass goes in in front of Kennedy, and he takes a big hit down low from Clayton Young. 
as they try to dig the puck loose and now we have a whistle as the puck is frozen right there. Victoria will be more than happy to play like this because what they're doing is basically wasting uh, a bunch of time off the clock. They're ahead mm -hmm. three to nothing right now. Nine minutes and ten seconds remaining in this hockey game and the Americans have got to take possession of the puck, work it down in front of the net and at least put Wade Flaherty to work. They haven't given him any type of a, a job to do tonight. He hasn't really had much work at all tonight. Not they, very much. See, it's that old cliche, you know, passing when you should shoot, shooting when you should pass. And that's exactly what's going on right now down in front of the uh, Victoria Cougar net. 9-10 to go in the hockey game. Face off right circle. Victoria zone. Barnes with Fry on his left and LeBrun to the right now with Duval and Kutterwitz at the blue line. For Victoria, Jackson Penny to take the draw. With Sumner and Kerr at the blue line. Ava's, or uh, Savage, rather. Sumner and Savage at the blue line. Kerr. That looks like they got all defensemen in there now, actually. Several point streaks are in jeopardy tonight. Stu Barnes, seven-game point streak. Sean LeBrun, seven-game point streak. And Troy Kennedy's five-game streak are all in jeopardy tonight with uh, zero score for the Americans. Well, they're having enough trouble getting this uh, face-off started. Looks like Big Al's gas prices are safe tonight. As LeBrun takes a shot, it's smothered. It goes up in the air, comes down in front of Penny, and he knows where to go with it. Drops it back for Savage, his shot. Wide of the net, right side. Savage races after it. Duval will cut him off. Duval brings it out for the Americans up the left side. Duval bringing it across the Tri-Cities blue line. Shoots it in right of the Victoria net. Fry races in on Flaherty. Flaherty gloves it and now will freeze it. Nope, Flaherty still trying to play it. Barnes taking it away from out front. They shoot, score! Barnes to LeBron, they caught Flaherty out of the net. Stu Barnes playing head smart hockey right there. Caught Wade Flaherty completely out of the net. And he took the pass, popped it right in front of Sean LeBrun, and Sean LeBrun knew exactly what to do with it, put it right between Wade Flaherty's legs, and the goose egg is gone as the Americans put the marker on the board, but Victoria still leads 3-1. Well, the Cougars are arguing that Flaherty was interfered with. That's Len Berry out there with his lawyer suit on. Not going to do him any good. McNutt wins the draw. Here comes Jake. Jake's in the slot. Shoots. Just wide of the net. Jake's races in. Knocks uh, Flaherty into the net, and we have a whistle. The net was not dislodged, but they're going to check it anyway to make sure because Flaherty got slammed right into that right post. Now, what that, how that goal developed down there was when Wade Flaherty had taken the puck and had held on to it, tried to skate over to find an open man, went about 13, 14 feet to the left of his uh, goal, went ahead, set it down, covered it up with his glove, then picked his glove up, and Stu Barnes stole it right out from underneath him, and then passed it out to Sean LeBrun, and Sean took a beautiful shot, kept it low, and caught his leg right between him, and that put the Americans on the board. Flaherty uh, getting a little extra time here as uh, he finds a conveniently loose strap on his shin guard. Now he's back up. 3-1, Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. Face off, Victoria's zone. Left circle. And you hear the crowd come to life now. Face off, McNutt wins it. Delcourt and Spenrath dig for the bucket slice for the goal. Cougars bring it out. Played off the right boards. Back to Delcourt in neutral ice. Nelcourt to Shurstenka. Wasn't pretty, but it worked. Shurstenka, his pass left, but Ava's off, breaks it up. Shot back into neutral ice, and Delcourt will have it again. Delcourt fires it in, left of the Victoria net. Racing in after it is Keller. And uh, we have a whistle as it was dumped in left of the Victoria net. It'll be icing against the Tri-City Americans. And we'll take time out on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hair stylist of the Tri-City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full-service hair and nail care salon. 
carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lightening. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10. Shot on the faceoff. Here comes LeBron. LeBron up the left wing for the Americans. LeBron takes it into the left corner, wipes out, has to get back up and fight Sumner for the puck. Now they try to kick it loose. Sumner loses his stick. He's hurt. Puck comes out in front of the net, and Flaherty dives on top of it. I think Sumner down there, number six, Rob Sumner, got a skate right into the face down there, and he's up against the side board as the trainer for Victoria is escorted out to see him. He's holding his face. He's got it right up underneath his um, helmet there where the face shield comes down. I think he fell on LeBron's skate is what I think. I think you're right, Kirk. And he that's a real serious injury if that's what happened. That's Rick Pry. 3-1 the score. Victoria leading the Americans. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Kudowitz, the fence with the Tri-City Americans. When it's game night, I need to get the Coliseum on time, and I kind of like to go in style, right to the front door. That's why I take the new Ben Franklin Transit. For the hockey games of February 12th and 19th, Ben Franklin Transit has a sweetheart of a deal. Two can ride for the price of one. Don't get iced out over parking. Take the bus. <laughs> Face-off back in the Victoria zone as Sumner comes off under his own steam. That could have been an ugly injury. I think he's going to be okay. Let's hope everything's all right on that. You don't like to see a player get a skate in the face. Avers off against Barnes on the face-off. Barnes wins it to Kennedy. Back up. Pressure. Stake a shot. Redirected wide in the net. Barnes, he's there. Barnes wheels around, loses it to Averzoff. LeBron jumps on him. Out to Kennedy at the right wing. Kennedy back to Jakes, but it's slapped away by the Cougars. Here comes Victoria Naylor racing in two on one. Naylor from the left side redirects it, shoots it wide of the net. As Shustanka and Furlan break it up. Headman pass to Kennedy. TK up the right wing. Kennedy takes it in, shoots, and is blocked by Flaherty. Comes out to Barnes. They dig for it. Pucks loose left of the Victoria net. Averzoff has it. Tried to get it around Barnes, and now Flaherty comes out and covers it up as he's hit from behind by Keller, and now Kennedy wants a piece of Keller. It's getting fast and furious once again. Then this open style of hockey has been the rule all night long. Yeah, it has. Very wide open, racing up and down. And the faceoff will come in the Victoria zone. Busted stick down there on the ice. Just a, a quick point to go back to the play where Darren Naylor had uh, gotten the puck and had a two-on-one situation going on on Frank Furlan. What a move Naylor put on Steve Jakes out there. Yep. That was a beautiful move. Took him left, right, up in the air and went right over top of him. It'll be Rennie with Kwiatkowski and Spinrath against Jackson Penny. And Sunder's back on the ice. Scoreboard says noise, 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 and you hear the fans respond. Face off, drop back into the left corner. Wolf behind his own net, comes out. Outlet pass up the left wing to Kerr. Kerr, right side, intended for Penny. Broken up by the Americans, it'll be a two-line pass against the Victoria Cougars, and Krause will have to go get some more lumber as he caught the uh, glass with that one. And those kind of passes right there where he had Jackson Penny, Kerr decided to throw a pass behind him, and those types of passes are very dangerous because what can happen is an American can be standing back here on defense and Penny was had a full head of steam heading in on Furland. All an American had to do was pick up that puck and race in on Flaherty all by himself. But luckily enough, the Victoria Cougars were able to recover on that one. 3-1 Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. 7-0-2 to play in the hockey game. It is Penny against Rennie. Face off down. Rennie wins it to Kwiatkowski. Backhands it toward the net. Wolf is there for Victoria back behind his own net. Outlet pass right. Rennie almost got to it. They shoot it to neutralize. Penny gets it. Wheels in on Furland. Jackson, Jackson Penny goes to the right wing. Taken off the play. Puck loose along the boards. Comes to Rennie. Rennie gets it to Kraus. Kraus brings it up for the Americans. Kraus a shot. Blocked by Flaherty. 
And Kraus knocked down by Sumner, but the puck comes up to the right wing. A drive by Kwiatkowski, and we have a whistle. Rob Kraus and Rob Sumner were both exchanging some punches down there right in front of the slot, and I believe both of them are going to get whistled for a little bit of high sticking there. I believe that's the call. We'll wait for the official. Well, that will take uh, two of the combatants off the ice. Anyway, it's only the second and third penalties of the period coming at the 1328 mark. Cougars number six, Rob Sumner, two minutes for high sticking. For the Tri-City Americans, number two, Rob Krause, also two minutes for high sticking at 1328. Three to one, Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. Base off, right circle, Victoria zone. Barnes against Barry. Barry wins the draw, comes right to Bertamini. Mike Bertamini takes it down, shoots it in left of the Tri-Cities net. Furlan plays it there, leaves it for Murray Duval. Duval brings it up the left wing. Duval with it, cuts to the middle, shoots a pass to Barnes, racing into the right corner. Barnes taken down from behind. Puck goes around to the left point. Cutowitz there, plays it around to LeBron in the right corner. LeBron tied up by Anderson. Now Barnes trying to take it off his skate. Young with it, and Barnes gets it right back. Clayton Young and Barnes race down low along with Keller. As uh, Barnes now trading punches out front, a shot taken by LeBron, and it goes up into the crowd as Delcourt flipped it back to LeBron, and LeBron pushed the up button one too many times, and it went right over the net. But Barnes and uh, Young were out there punching away on each other. Nobody saw it. And I mean, they were really throwing some heavy-duty punches down there, and the fans saw it, but none of the officials saw it. Holy cow. 6,009 the attendance tonight. What is that? Sell out number 12? So it's pretty close to that. It's uh, just hit, I believe, the double figures for sure. 5.52 right to go in the hockey game. Next action for the Americans Sunday night against Seattle. T-Birds will be in town, and that'll be a big, big game. Sunday night at 6 o'clock. Kennedy winning the draw. Back to Jake's his shot. Blocked by Flaherty. The Americans have it. Nibs a wrist shot. Kicked out of there by Flaherty. Now Fry a shot. Flaherty kicks it away, and Fry will get it back for Tri-Cities. Rick Fry out to Nibs. Nibs to Kennedy. Back up front. Jake's a drive, and it's deflected wide of the net right. Nibs all over it. Nibs centers it to TK. Broken up by the Cougars and shot back into neutral ice. Back forward in a hurry is Dan Shurstenka. Shurstenka left to Rick Fry. Fry pounds it off the boards for Nibs. Shot back into the Victoria zone. Wolf back for it. Kennedy racing in on him. Kennedy and Nibs, and we got a whistle as Wolf goes in behind the net. I'm not sure exactly what the call is on that one. We'll wait, but it is going to be a faceoff outside the Victoria Cougar zone. I didn't see the indication from the official. I didn't see either, and now uh, Nibs running into the uh, one of the linesmen and losing his stick. If the now American, he comes off the ice. If the Americans can win tonight, Seattle loses, then that means that the Americans will only be two points out of fourth place, and on Sunday night, it will be a game for fourth place, the final playoff position in the Western Division. Rennie against Jackson Penny. Rennie wins it, goes to Dirksen. Dirksen fires it in, left side. Wolf there, cross ice pass left to Will Anderson. Back out to neutral ice, but Dirksen is back for it. Dirksen plays it off the boards to Delcourt. Delcourt losing it, and it's shot back into the Tri-City zone. Dirksen back. Victoria with a two-goal lead. Five minutes to play. Devin Dirksen starts out left. Goes left to Rennie. Rennie bringing it up for Tri-Cities. Looking for help. Finds Duval up the right wing boards. Murray Duval pulls up a shot. Blocked by Flaherty and Duval. Tried to blow that one right through Wade Flaherty. What a shot by Murray Duval. Boy, did he have the mustard on that one. Well, he just teed that one up and tried to shoot it right through the middle of Wade Flaherty. And Flaherty made the stop. He'll remember that one, I expect. 4.42 to go in the hockey game. 3-1 Victoria leading the Tri-City Americans. Face off, right circle. Barnes with Spenrath and LeBrun. Jackson Cutterwitz at the blue line. For Victoria, Clayton Young to take the face off. Barnes does his little spin move there in front of Young. That's got to irritate Clayton Young something fierce. 
Puck goes back into the right corner. Barnes chasing after it, but Will Anderson has it. Anderson outlet pass neat to Young. Young starts it up. Headman pass left. Intended for Seaton. He can't get to it. It goes in behind the Tri-Cities net. Kutowitz is there. And icing the call against the Cougars. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the Ruff Giant Burger. Ruff's now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Off left circle, Victoria zone. Barnes and Clayton Young. Barnes draws it back to the blue line for LeBron. LeBron firing it in. Left of the Victoria net. Goes around to Anderson in the corner. Back out to the blue line. LeBron there to save it. Sean LeBron starts in. Shoots. Flaherty covers it up. Flaherty giving up no rebounds. He's being very cautious out there. Well, and he should be, too, because right then and there, if he would have given up a rebound exactly the way that Sean LeBron had shot that for a position rebound, who was coming right in on him but Captain Greg Spinrath. And, I mean, he had sights on that puck. Yep. Good goaltending tonight by Wade Flattery. Yeah, Flaherty's been very good. He was real solid in Victoria the other night, too. 4.16 to go in the hockey game. 3-1. Can the Americans come back? Yep. Takes some doing, but it can be done. Barnes facing off against Clayton Young. Right circle, Victoria zone. Pucks down. Barnes sweeps it out to the right side. Kennedy's there, but Kennedy gets upended along the boards. Now Victoria's Wolf shoots it out to the blue line. Jake stops it. Jake's his shot. Wide to the net, goes into the right corner. Kennedy has it. Gets it underneath for Barnes. Barnes centers. Jake's cuts it off at the blue line. Starts it back down. Knocked down by Young. Here comes Clayton Young with Bertamini. Two on two, but Jake's there to sweep it away from Young. He shoots it toward the Tri-Cities net. Around behind the net. Now Bertamini and Jake's racing after it. Jake's chops it back to Cutterwitz up the left wing for the Americans. His pass to Barnes. Knocked away. Cougars have it. Bertamini at the blue line. Fires it in right of the net. Furland comes out to play it into the right corner. Now Jake's with it. Jake's shoots it ahead to Kennedy. TK sweeps it around to Barnes. Barnes loses it. Cutterwitz goes back after it. Feeds it up to LeBrun. Knocked away from LeBrun by the Cougars. Wolf shoots it back into the Tri-City zone and Duval will chase it down. 3-19 to play in the hockey game. 3-1 Victoria. Quick pass. Outlet to Barnes. To Delcourt up the right wing. Greg Delcourt shoots it in right of the net. Wolf there. And LeBron races in after him. Wolf wheels around behind his net. Shoots it out to center ice. Rennie with it. Fires it in right of the Victoria net. Now in after it is Will Anderson. Goes around behind the net. Shoots it ahead up the right wing boards. Taken out of there by Avazov. Micah Avazov pulls up at the right wing. Cross ice left for the Cougars. Andrew Wolf plays it left down to Naylor. Naylor dumping it into the Tri-City zone. Back for it is Calvin Nibs. Nibs around behind the net. Nibs left to Rennie. Rennie brings it up. Shoots it in left of the Victoria zone. Left of the Victoria net. Flaherty there. Plays it back out but Rennie oops, got screened out by the referee. Here comes Savage. Savage walks in on Furlan and is taken down by Jakes and Rennie. Puck loose. Americans have it. Now Jakes plays it left to Delcourt. Delcourt shoots it into the Victoria zone, but the Cougars have it. Sumner up the left wing. Sumner has it knocked down by Jakes. Now, but the Cougars still have it. Rennie taking it away from Kerr. Cross ice left to Nibs. Nibs right back to Delcourt. Delcourt losing it there to Penny. And it's kicked back into the Tri-City zone by the Cougars. Back for it is Kraus. And icing will be the call against the Victoria Cougars. And we'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio, Americans Hockey Broadcast. Perfect 10, the official hairstylist of the Tri-City Americans. Perfect 10 features a full-service hair and nail care salon, carrying professional products for all your hair care needs. Perfect 10 also uses advanced techniques in perm, cut, color, and foil lightning. Perfect 10 is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect hair, perfect nails, a perfect you at Perfect 10.
McNutt facing off against Clayton Young. Victoria zone and whistles all over the place before the play can get started, so we'll do it over again. Here's the score in Seattle, Portland four, Seattle three in overtime. And the Thunderbirds will be here in Tri-Cities on Sunday night. It'll be Clayton Young against Kwiatkowski. Young winning the draw. Cougars bring it up the right wing. Bertamini, Shurstenka is there, shoots it back in, but he catches Spenrath offside. Minute 45 to go, 3-1 Cougars. Boy, that must have been one incredible game up there in Seattle. Well, yeah, Seattle had to come back. They were down, what, 3-1 or something like that? They were 3-2, tied it up, and then they ended up losing it in overtime, 4-3 to Portland. So Portland's extended its lead now. They have 71 points. Victoria, if they hold on here, they will still be four points out at 67. And the Tri-City Americans, uh, if they can pull off a victory here tonight, will move within two points of the Seattle Thunderbirds for that fourth and final playoff spot. Davis off on the faceoff against Stu Barnes. Well, the Americans have a minute 45 to tie it up or win it. Barnes against Davis off. Davis off wins the draw, but it's back into the Victoria zone. Barnes racing after with Keller. Kennedy gets it up the left wing. Kennedy to Cutowitz. Back to Kennedy, and it's Avazov. Gets in there to try to dig it loose. He does. Micah Avazov almost losing it to Barnes. They shoot it to center ice. Naylor there, and he is pasted by Jakes. Barnes back to steal the puck. Now Avazov dumps Jakes, but the Cougars steal the puck back. Anderson misplaying it. Shot it back into neutral ice. Jakes with it at the blue line. Steve Jakes goes to LeBron at the blue line. LeBron with it. Starts to the top of the slot. Finds Kennedy down low. Kennedy shot. Wide of the net, tried to jam it in. Flaherty lifts the net right off the moorings as Flaherty, Jakes, and Keller all fall into the net and lift it off the moorings. I think Keller probably did most of the muscle work there because he had Jakes from behind. Well, they wanted to do Jim Lauk's job and take the net off the ice and put it in the storage back here, it looked like. I guess so. Minute four to play. Faceoff will come in the Victoria zone, right circle, timeout Tri-Cities, and we'll take timeout on this Tri-Cities radio, Americans Hockey Broadcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Kudowitz, the fence with the Tri-City Americans. When it's game night, I need to get the call to see him on time, and I kind of like to go in style, right to the front door. That's why I take the new Ben Franklin Transit. For the hockey games of February 12th and 19th, Ben Franklin Transit has a sweetheart of a deal. Two can ride for the price of one. Don't get iced out over parking. Take the bus. Faceoff will come in the Victoria zone. Cougars lead 3-1 over the Tri-City Americans who are losing an opportunity tonight to gain ground on the Seattle T-Birds. Thunderbirds losing to the Winterhawks tonight. Well, the Americans can still get something going here. I think what they're discussing right now, and they have done exactly that. They have pulled Frank Furlan. They are now putting on an extra attacker. The faceoff's down inside the Victoria zone. A minute four remaining in this hockey game. Coach John Oliver is looking for the tie. They're down by two goals right now. But that gives them six men down in the Victoria zone to work this puck. Cutterwitz, Jakes at the blue line. Kennedy, Spenrath, LeBron, and Barnes. And Barnes will take the face off. He directs traffic, gets everybody where he wants them. Now he's going to move Spenrath back a little bit. Now, Kirk, what they might end up doing here is that uh, LeBron will try to kick it back to either Barnes or Spenrath. They'll take a shot, and they'll have all these screeners down there right in front of the net. LeBron on the faceoff against Clayton Young. Young directing traffic. Flaherty looking on. Faceoff won by LeBron. Spenrath races to the net. They try to get it down and it's shot back to neutral ice. Here come the Cougars. A chance on an empty net. Barry races in. He'll bury it for the empty net goal. Len Barry unassisted. And that, my friends, is the hockey game. Well, and uh, Coach John Oliver took a gamble right there, pulled Frank Furlin out of the net, gave the extra attacker down inside the Victoria zone. The faceoff worked real well. Greg Spenrath went straight in for the net. They mishandled the puck down inside there, and the puck was let loose out into the neutral ice area. Lindbergh picks it up, goes all by himself. 
just taps it into the net. And that pretty much iced up the victory for Victoria as the small contingent of Victoria fans over there do their little bit of cheering with the cowbells. And Victoria's lead, 4-1. to one. 54 seconds to play. Rennie wins the draw. Rennie dumping it into the Victoria zone left of the net. Sumner races around behind the net with it. Outlet comes up the left wing. Cross ice right. Savage. Savage shoots it in left of the Tri-Cities net. Furland back in goal. Kraus there. Tried to play it around to Delcourt. Instead, he brings it all the way around behind the net. Nibs shot into the Victoria zone. Flaherty will have to play it. Flaherty steers it behind the net. Leaves it for Keller for Sumner. Sumner outlet pass. Redirected right to Gustafson. He comes down across the Tri-Cities blue line. Whacked away by the Americans. 19 seconds to play. Back forward is Cutowitz. Kelly Cutowitz will bring it up. Cutter up the left wing to uh, Nibs. Stolen there by Savage. But the Cougars were offside. The Tri-City Americans now fall to 20 and 28 and 3. They still remain tied with Spokane. The idle Spokane Chiefs tonight at 43 points. Seattle, on the other hand, did not pick up any ground tonight. We are still only four points behind Seattle, and we have them here Sunday night. On the faceoff, one by the Cougars. With it is Gustafson, left of the net, a shot. Taken, blocked out front. Kraus slaps it away. Three seconds remaining. One second. And that's the end of the hockey game. The Victoria Cougars winning it by a score of 4-1 to one over the Tri-City Americans. That wraps up our game broadcast tonight. We'll be back with the post-game show on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans hockey broadcast. Chi-Town Rumble 89, the event that blows away the Windy City. Chi-Town Rumble. Which, uh, the first period, again, just like uh, Wednesday night at Victoria, the Cougars came out and uh, really made things happen early. Well, the last couple games we've played against Dry Cities, we've been very, very fortunate on the power play in, a, in the first period. And, and when you play in somebody else's building, if you get if you can score a goal, goal early and get some momentum going for yourself, it it can possibly carry you through an entire game. And I'm, I thought that Wade Flaherty after the first period played outstanding. He made that mistake that cost him the goal, of course, in the third period. But when, when, to play in, in a building like this that's full like this, and to uh, get a couple of quick goals and then keep them in check the rest of the night is a really it's it's a really good sign for our hockey club because we haven't played like that on the road for a long time. Beginning of the season, uh, Wayne, it appeared that. Uh, maybe the Americans had an emotional or, or a psychological advantage over the Cougars. They seem to have your number early on, but that seems to have turned around now. Well, I don't think so. I, I, our, we've just been very, very fortunate the last couple of games, and I, you know, we're so worried coming in here when when uh, Portland came in the week before and got blown out of your rank eight to two, and uh, we just made sure that we were very, very prepared. But again, I say, like, I thought that in the last couple of games we were just lucky. We scored on the power play early in the first period, and had it not been for that, you know, it could have been a one-goal game. And when it's a one-goal game in this building going into the third period, you're in big trouble. Wayne Naka, head coach of the Cougars. See you again on Wednesday night. You bet. And we'll be back with Americans assistant coach Jerry Johansson on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans hockey broadcast. Policy. Jerry, that was just not a pretty hockey game. Yeah, we didn't put much of an effort in tonight. Uh, it's hard to understand. It's uh, probably the most important time. Of the, it is the most important time of the season. We can't afford to give away any games, and we just didn't, you know, with the exception of maybe the third period we played all right, but the first two periods, you know, we weren't there. What... Uh, any idea what causes that? A leftover from the game in Victoria maybe the other night? A, a leftover emotion that came out ready to even the score rather than play hockey, or what was it? You know, it's, it's, a, it's probably the toughest question there is, you know. I know. If we could figure out that, you know, we'd probably be first place. But uh, there is no excuse. I mean, there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't come out to play hard for a game like tonight. Uh, I mean, you try to find some positives when you play like you did tonight, and, uh, you know, there were some, you know. We had, uh, like, the third period was, you know, a decent period. But overall, you just have to be disappointed with the effort we put in. Defensively, I thought uh, uh, the guys played pretty well. It was the offense that just couldn't make it happen. Well, Victoria took the game to us. I mean, they played the kind of game that they wanted to. I mean, they kept it low scoring. They kept us off the scoreboard, you know, until the third period. And... Uh, you know, they controlled the, the flow of the game, and that's exactly what we didn't want to let them do. When they're in our building, you know, it's our rink, it's our hockey game. You know, we should play like that, and we didn't tonight. Now Seattle comes in after a tough overtime loss in Seattle. Uh, the Thunderbirds losing to Portland. Sunday night's game uh, becomes even more important. 
Well, that's right. I mean, it just gets more and more important. And, uh, you know, I, I think the guys felt the loss tonight. I mean, you know, they take it hard, and that's good because, you know, they, they have to be ready. We have to be ready to play on, on Sunday. And, uh, you know, Seattle's been playing well lately, and uh, it'll be a good test for us. So, you know, there's just no question. We have to be ready to play. Jerry Johansson, assistant coach of the Tri-City Americans, thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Thanks. And that wraps it up. Our final score once again at the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Cougars winning it 4-1 to one over the Tri-City Americans. I'm Kirk Williamson. Good night on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans hockey broadcast.